Hey, let me get my Sims 2 soundtrack on. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. Oh, I can't see my own headphones. Hi. <laughs> we're going to play some Sims today. Uh, we're going to work on building a werewolf house, actually, which should be interesting because I don't think I'm that good at that. <laughs> but we'll see. I promised the mods. The mods have been waiting for this one. So we're going to do it today. <laughs> that is the goal. Hi, Shella. How are you? Um, okay. Let me get the game. Hold on. Here we go. We are prepared. <laughs> um, sorry I did not stream yesterday, you guys. I was not thriving. <laughs> Let's say that. I was not thriving. <laughs> so hold on. Give it a minute. It'll pop up. And go. Go. Why are you doing this? Go. You still can't see The Sims 4. Okay. We'll wait. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. Now it's popped up for you. Miss Hatter and Tur and Red Sue and Morgie and Severs and Pepe and Deb and Morgan and Nana and Brianna. We also got Jess and Teacher and Crack Attack. Thank you for the subs. Um, let me load into... I'll do it in this save. How about that? You've gotten my, my Travel Town ad? Oh my. <laughs> I, um, I... This is the first time, so so oftentimes when you do sponsorships with companies, you give them like usage rights um, to like, you know, you can have like the footage for 30 days or whatever, you know, whatever the contract says, it depends, kind of is different depending on who it is. Um, and this is the first time that like they've actually made an ad out of it. <laughs> um, and people keep tweeting me or like sending me on Instagram screenshots of like a TikTok ad with my face in it. And it kind of scares me. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know it was gonna be like that. I didn't know they were gonna do a TikTok ad. I didn't know about any of that. Um but I mean it's I guess it's kinda interesting, but um sorry <laughs> if you got jump scared by Lil Simsy on TikTok. Um you saw it like five times. Oh my. See that's what scares me about it. I don't want them to like overdo it and then people hate me because they see my face ten times. But I don't think that's what's happening, so we should be fine. But anytime someone tells me, oh I've seen it eight times, I'm like, you've what? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> but it should be. It's fine. It's fine. Why didn't they tell me? Well, it's not like they didn't tell me. I gave them usage rights. Um, each, I don't know. They they don't have to tell me what they're gonna do with it. I guess <laughs> no one else has ever used it for an ad in that way. I Logitech has used usage rights for me to make an ad before, um, but they didn't push it on TikTok. So doesn't matter. It's not a bad thing. It just is what it is. Um, so anyway, <laughs> we're gonna build today, so it should be fun. Um, my friend and mod C has some werewolves in Moonwood Mill that we have agreed to build a home for. Um, I shall show you what we are working with. <laughs> Specifically, um, let me pull up the screenshot so I can show you. Here is the plan. I'm thinking this lot with a converted factory vibe to match the other builds in towns, greens, yellows, and browns as the color scheme inside. With lots of plants, we need a, be a main bedroom, a guest room for stayovers, an office, and a workout area inside, and a werewolf panic room. We have like 200K, apparently, so we're not too worried about money. Um, and that's the plan. <laughs> so we have a very specific task today. Um, these are the two sims that we're working with. Um, I don't have them off the gallery or anything, but that's okay. As long as we know the, the traits, we know that we need an office and a gym, so we're fine. But we have a commission. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's a fun way of looking at it. Uh, but it's for one of the mods, so I thought it'd be kind of cute for us to build something like this. Um, it's like Dream Home Decorator, but higher stakes, you know? <laughs> um, so we're going to do this. We're going to build something like that for those two werewolves in Moonwood Mill on this lot. Um, I don't think I'm the best at building, like, werewolf stuff, um, but it should be interesting. Higher stakes because the person will actually care, right? <laughs> it's like Dream Home Decorator, but the stakes are high because it's for a person that we actually care about in real life. And not just some random sim that you could just ruin their house for, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> we gotta be careful. <laughs> Oh, do you take commissions now? No, actually, Lavender, um, what I do is get forced into things by the Twitch mods. Against my will. Um, 
I, I, uh, <laughs> adhere to demands, apparently. <laughs> it's not just C. It was a group. I was collectively, um, pushed in this direction. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, the panic groups for when they rage, um, for when they're having their, um, rampaging. You put them in the basement and you lock them down there so they can't break anything. So, um, Simsy said, I don't take commissions, but I will be extorted. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and, and Rocky and Lucky, thank you for the subs. Glue on with the 46 months. Hello, Glue on. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and Killer Kitten. Whoa. <laughs> Oliver, Cammy, Anna, Emily, Bexy, Lunar, Steffi, Rumor, Bonk, and Wands, and, and Brad. I've also got Kate, and Rose, and Butlers, and Avery, and Alex, and Miss Jinx, and Cal, and Frozen, and Hatter, and Tur, and Red Sue, and Morgie, and Severs, and, and, uh, I think I'm caught up. Lulz? I don't know. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody. I don't mean to, obviously. Um, bear with me. Uh, bear with me. Okay, let me open up another OBS so we can record this, too, in case we wish to post it on YouTube. Um, oh, the other life update, you guys. Listen to this. I'm having big, big uh, nerves today about what I'm doing tomorrow because I'm going <sighs> wedding dress shopping. <laughs> when I think about it, I want to cry. Um, I'm actually horrified. You guys don't understand. My mom and sister are coming and I keep being like, I'm so scared. And then Shanna's like, well, I'm excited. That is so unhelpful. Do you have any idea how unhelpful and unsupportive you are being, Shanna? Oh, you're excited? Okay. <laughs> I feel like I could cry, but glad you're happy. <laughs> I'm really, really scared of it. I just, I know that some people do not feel this way and they're not going to understand, but the thought of like trying on clothing is really distressing to me, especially clothing that is important and expensive like this. And the whole situation of it, it just, it just, it's, it does not seem fun to me in the slightest. Like I, I'm really not happy about the process. <laughs> I'm gonna do it and be excited when it's over, but the process itself is not fun for me, you know? <laughs> I'll try to have fun with it, but I'm making myself really nervous. I'm overthinking it a lot and making myself really nervous about it, you know? So, <laughs> that's my situation, <laughs> but I think a lot of people are gonna relate to that, right? Um, and Left, and JJ, and Gamer, and Dev, and Lady, and Jewel, and Gab, also Looney, and Ray with the subs, uh, Little with the gifted subs, thank you so much. I also think that there's some anxiety about, like, what if I pick one, and then I change my mind, but then I bought an expensive dress, and I changed my mind? So I'm just, like, really overthinking, spiraling about it a little bit, you know? It's like, what, I haven't even picked a dress, but I'm like, what if I don't like the one that I pick eventually? What then? <laughs> You know, it's like the stress of the decision making that's like so, ah. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure that after tomorrow I'll feel better about it. But I'm making myself really nervous. Um, so, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Is Shanna aiming for an ugly bridesmaid dress? If Shanna doesn't start acting better, she's gonna get herself an ugly bridesmaid dress, that's for sure. I'm only getting one bridesmaid. I'm putting Shanna whatever I want. And if you don't start acting nice to me, Shanna, you're gonna regret it. <laughs> I don't actually care what she, I don't have a preference about the bridesmaid dress. I, she can wear whatever she wants, really. <laughs> but if you don't start being nice to me, <laughs> just you wait, Shanna, just you wait. I'm gonna put her in like zebra print or something. What if I did that? Only one? Oh, I see, this is, controversial perhaps, but the whole business of bridesmaids is very stressful to me as well. It seems like the kind of thing that could end up with fe people's feelings being hurt, like, oh, why didn't you pick me? So, it's just my sister. Only one, just my sister. No drama, just Shanna. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> no drama, just one, <laughs> you know? Um, that way no one's gonna get upset, right? Like, it's just, just the one. <laughs> Just my sister. Um, makes It makes things easier, you know? <laughs> but what about my brother? Well, I think what we're actually gonna do is have um, Dan's sister and my sister and then Dan's brother and my brother. Um, but obviously Caitlin's not here because she's in England, so she's not coming to dress shop with us right now. So. <laughs> and not snappy. No, she's not invited to be a bridesmaid um, because uh, she doesn't want to come to the wedding. She told me she's not interested in coming, so um, she's not invited. Oh, I have something funny for you guys. 
<laughs> Wait, I swear we'll build in a second, but I have a funny video I want to show you first. Um, let me pull it up. This is a video of Snap from yesterday. So yesterday I was uh, in the morning, I was writing Valentine's cards for my grandparents. I always send my grandma all kinds of cards for all the most random holidays. Um, but I was writing the cards out for my grandma for her Valentine's Day. Hold on, I can't find it. Um, so I'm just sitting there, you know, writing my little cards. And Snap is sitting in the chair, like, right next to me. I'll show you the first image first. Snap was sitting, like, right next to me in this chair. She sits in this chair all the time. This is, like, kind of Snap's chair. And then Sunny walks up and just boops her on the head. And I was like, no way you just did that. I was late. I got a picture a little bit late. And I was like, I can't believe you just did that. Woke Snap up, booped her on the head. Okay. Then I'm sitting there and I watch Sunny begin to approach. She's about to do it again. So I start filming. I'm like, oh, this is the, this is our chance. I'm going to get the video. Watch. Poor little Snappy. She's just sleeping. She's minding her own business. And then she got hissed at, which she deserved. And then Sunny started chirping and then ran away. Who does that? Leave her alone. Sunny is a tormentor. She always does that. She always tries to boop Snap when she's trying to sleep. Leave her be. <laughs> Instigator. Usually Snap's the instigator, but when Snap's asleep is when Sunny gets brave. Little siblings. Anyway. <laughs> it was a gentle boop though. Yeah, she's very gentle with it. But she knows what she's doing. She knows that Snap was sleeping and she knows that like the table's in the way. So she's like, ooh, I'm gonna come get her. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. That's why she walks up behind Snap and that's why Snap gets mad at her because she's always like sneaking up behind her and like coming up when she's sleeping. <laughs> so no wonder Snap thinks you're mean. Anyway, <laughs> Marissa, thank you for the bits. Um, oh, really? Um, yeah, bridesmaid, I've never been a bridesmaid. I find it kind of nerve wracking, the whole thought of it. I don't know. I was a flower girl once as a child for my uncle. Uh, Lady and Lemon and Mabel and Emily and Coyle and Grace and Ox, thank you for the subs. Um, do you think the voice understands Snap can't hear? Um, I, I don't know. I think that they probably understand that there's something different about this grouchy old lady. But I don't know if they have like the full grasp of the fact that she cannot hear you. And she can hear a little bit, but she won't hear the kittens coming up behind her. She only hears like really high pitched loud stuff. So she, like, they, I don't think they have a full understanding of that, you know? So, you're a cousin for your cousin right now? Oh, that's really cool, Moon. That's really exciting. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, and Elve and Jordan and Blanche and Evs and Ox and Grace. Uh, we also got JJ and Gamer and Deb and Lady Cabbage and Jewel and Buzzing and Looney and Ray and, and Dante and hope I didn't miss anything. Black Rose. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, anyway, shall we build? Let's get together. We got to focus chat. We have a lot to do and a lot to think about. Um, okay. Converted factory. Oh, I haven't a clue what I'm doing. Does it need to be that big either? Because we only need the, it's like four bedrooms kind of, which is kind of big, but it's not that big. Um, okay. <laughs> Deep breath. We're fine. Just start. This isn't get together. This is werewolves. Haha. -ha. Oh, that was a good meme, Marissa. Thank you. So I don't need to get it together? So what you're saying is, I don't need to worry about getting it together. <laughs> we can just uh, be a mess. Yeah. Also, if any of you have uh, not yet seen, we have a couple new emotes, a uh, couple new animated emotes. My friend Shella made a couple more. Um, there's Simsy Wiggle. It's holding a cat wiggling. Um, there's a nod emote now. Uh, and then the other one is like peeking around a corner that we uploaded yesterday. So um, there are a couple new ones. We're getting some more animated emotes these days. Okay, here's what I have so far. <laughs> Do you guys like it? <laughs> Do you guys think it's so good? Um, it's, yeah, I've really, uh, we've made great progress so far, huh? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. No notes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we want it to be a uh, factory. Let me look at the stuff that comes in, um, werewolves. This, listen, you guys, trust the process, okay? We're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be so fine. I wonder if we can mix and match. What did you say, C? They said yellows, greens, and browns. What if we try to use that color as an accent? Huh. 
I don't know. We'll see what we can do. I kind of like it. I think it's kind of good. I think that's kind of nice. Oh my god, I haven't got a single clue what I want it to look like. <laughs> Um, okay, okay, okay. Focus, focus is fine. What else do we have? We do have, like, yellow accents in these windows. So that's good, too. That might be a good place to start. Oh, I spelled- I typed pb.moveobjects no. Well, that's not gonna work. pb.moveobjects no. Okay, maybe I try something like... as a starting point. I don't know. If you use yellow, I'm leaving. Well, Shella, it's not my build. It's- this build is actually for C, not me. So, it's not my fault that that's what was asked for. You understand, surely. And if not, well... Get it together, Shella, honestly. Something like... Oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh no. Guys, I'm not very good at this. Just hold on, hold on. It's gonna be- it's gonna be totally fine. It's gonna be totally and completely fine. This is way too small as well, so that's not gonna work. One, two... It's like a square. I think I want it to be like this, and then I'm thinking that... Oh my. What do you guys look like over there? Just long rectangles, huh? Mm. Not good vibes. I'm thinking that I want it to be like... Um... I don't know. Oh, Brew, I read it. I read it all in one day on... Wednesday? I read it all on Wednesday. I don't know if I liked it that much. I gave it three stars, but I like Allie Hazelwood. Um, I've liked all of her previous books. Um, but I read the whole thing on Wednesday, so. Um, no, okay, we're not getting rid of any emotes. There's a whole bunch of- the animated emote slots are different than the, the like, static emote slots. We have a bunch of new additional animated emote slots because Twitch has been extending how many animated emote slots people have. Um, so, all of a sudden, everybody has, like, a bajillion more animated emote slots. We're not getting rid of any emotes. <laughs> we're trying to make extra emotes. <laughs> it's more emotes, not less. Um, we're trying to have extras. Um, so. Also, emotes are kind of expensive, so to replace all of them would be, like, probably not the best idea. So. We got, like, 60 plus, you know? Um, okay. New plan. New, 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 new plan. Hold on. Sorry, you guys. I know it's clear that I haven't got a single clue what I'm doing, but it will- it'll work out. We just have to, unfortunately, get there first. One, two, three. Okay. I don't know. How much does it cost to commission an emote? It depends on the artist. Um, it, it really depends and sort of changes depending on who's making it. So, um, werewolves. I don't know if I like that or not. Again, we'll see. We shall see. Once I pick the werewolves, like, roof textures, I think we'll also be off to a better start. Do we want to do, like... I don't know if I want that color or not. That's kind of like rainbow energy. I don't know if that's the vibes. Um, is this only the werewolves pack? No, we're going to use a bunch of packs. This is for my one of my friends, and they have all the packs. So we're going to try and focus on... Um, we're going to try and focus on, like, whatever we need for that, you know? More so. Um... Okay. Yeah, I don't think I like that very much. It's an interesting idea. But I feel like it might be better in the slightly darker shade.
perhaps. I also don't know if I like it. We'll see. We shall see. Guys, I'm not really good at building stuff for werewolves, clearly. <laughs> That's what we're learning from this today. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if that's good either, but we'll see about that too. Darker is better. Yeah, I, I agree ever so slightly. Um, okay, that's a relatively simple downstairs, which is good, I guess. Um, I should do an angled roof instead of peaked. What, just like a half gabled roof? Is that what you're trying to say? Instead of a full gabled roof? That's kind of a different vibe than what I was picturing. Um, but we're not done yet, so... Times could always change, you know? Who knows where the future will take us as we're working on this. Because I'm probably going to bulldoze it and then start over. I'm warning you. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm just anticipating that there's probably going to be a, a bulldoze or two in our future today. Do I want to do two chimneys on like either side of this? I don't know. I kind of like the idea of the two chimneys on either side. That I think helps with the factory vibes. Um, but yikes, too tall. Too tall. Werewolf, bl werewolf blue suburban. I swear I'm not trying to make a werewolf suburban. I swear it. I promise that's not the energy that I'm going for right now. Um, okay, maybe we could have like... Guys, I might have to bulldoze it again. <laughs> I might have to bulldoze We haven't done it yet though. So maybe this be our first bulldoze. We might have to. I just don't think that it like... I don't know. I just don't think that it looks good, I guess, is the problem. Go away. Oh, I need you to be like... That. I'm wondering about... Using a reference might help. Yeah, but we just built a converted factory based on like a real life factory. So I'm not super obsessed with the idea of like pulling up a reference photo of a factory and then trying to build something like that. Like, I'm kind of more interested in, in almost like winging it a little bit um, because of the fact that we just had done one based on a real factory, but well, let me, let me see a bit more. And then if things are going horribly still, then maybe we can consider a change of plans. That's not right. Um... I want to put like something like this outdoor fence, perhaps. That might be interesting to have. Then there's a balcony and then also access to the upstairs. <laughs> Kruger coffee, Coils Crossing, thank you for the subs. Um, the only problem with this part is that if you do it like that, the fence is kind of weird, so you gotta do like a small half wall. That won't be too bad though. The fencing we is weird by the roof because there's actually a wall right here. Um, so it's not letting you place a fence there because it's thinking that like the edge of the, like this part, that's why. It gets kind of strange when it does that, but that would be the reason. Um. <laughs> I think that is really strange. I think that like the shape here is quite, Maybe bad, I don't know. I don't know. You think the window layout at the front is, make, is what's making it look less factory-like? Do you think so? I actually thought that that was pretty good. Um, so that's not good that you think it's bad. <laughs> that is not off to a good start, you thinking that it's bad. Um, we'll see though. We shall see. Um... Okay, something like, yeah, these windows don't really work on that because it's not brick, so. Um, maybe this should be smaller. 
And maybe you should be like shrunk a little bit. Um, yeah, I think I might need to bulldoze it. Let me put it in my library for a second. You guys, this is not good. This is not good. Let me see if I can find a picture of a real life factory quickly. Um, Cause then we can maybe try and use that as inspo for the exterior at the very least so you can see more what we're talking about. The problem is we just did a factory build. So we need to be like different vibes from that. But when you look at a lot of these things, like a lot of the sort when people say, oh, it doesn't look like a factory. Have you seen a real life factory? They're not like the most interesting sorts of buildings, you know, <laughs> like, um, I don't know. This one is cool. Different layer on the bottom floor. They're like big boxes. Um, oh my God, we're never going to finish this build because I'm so silly. <laughs> I'm so bad at werewolf build. <laughs> Um, okay. Let me see if I can find you another... Um, yeah, I don't want it to be, like, super modern on the inside, though, is the problem. And it doesn't need to be that big, either. Here's a... old one. Older. Try searching for abandoned house instead. Oh, that's not the vibes. That's not the vibes. We're not trying to do a house. Um, the request is for a factory. <laughs> Matt, Froggy, Chloe, Katie, Kroger, Coffee, thank you for the subs. Um, I mean, this one is cool, but again, it's not going to be that big. Like, okay, take two. Let's try this again. You need to keep that in mind. Like, this, it's not really for that many sims. So, we want to have, like, a mix of the yellow stuff in there. And changing the wall height isn't as good of an idea as you think because you want to use the werewolves windows and they only really work on one wall height. So everybody has all kinds of comments and things to say, but not many people are thinking about the fact that these are the only windows that we have to work with. And I really want to use these windows, which is why I had it on the shorter wall height because that way the windows actually look big. So I'm not doing different windows. If you were not here last week, I built a factory, this one, last week. So if you want to see a build like that, you're in luck. We already did that one. <laughs> so you can watch that one instead. Um, this today, we're going to do like more abandoned werewolf factory vibes. So keep that in mind. Okay. This time it's like grungy, not modern. Yes, exactly. Um, Yules and Raspberry and Tanaya and Sims Lover, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Okay. Let me think about this. I'm using, I'm looking at that inspo picture again. Um, just the one that we just pulled up. Not to copy, but just to like think about shape on. I wonder if we could like copy it just a smidge. Maybe the front door could be on the side then. That might be okay. Should it be like, I don't know if there should be a foundation. That's kind of my new concern, is I don't know if I want to have a foundation on this. Um, but we'll see. The problem is, when you look at all the like werewolves textures, it's like, the foundation doesn't really match, you know? You feel that an old factory would have less windows? Have you seen them though? Friend, I remind you again, have you seen what we're talking about? Did I just turn it off by accident? No, I didn't. Do you see what we're talking about? They're covered in windows. So I think that you just have a different vision in your head for what kind of thing we're building. Um, it's actually not that uncommon to have a lot of windows in these old factory buildings. They are like full of windows, <laughs> arguably. So um, I think you just have a different vision in your head and that's okay. But uh, bear in mind that um, we're trying to like copy some of the buildings that are out here too and they're kind of covered in windows as well. Um, OMG, Kayla, chill. Please don't tell me to chill, that's mean. <laughs> oh no, do I seem like I'm not chill? Oh no. Okay, maybe it needs dormers. Yeah, we're gonna put some dormers and stuff on it. We're gonna try a few different shapes and stuff to it. We're still just trying to figure it out. This is supposed to be fun, okay? <laughs> we're just having fun, okay? I don't like that one. 
Um, all right, I don't know about that, actually. I think it was better before. This is a disaster. Maybe make you bigger. Our front door can be a bit bigger. That gives us a bit more to work with. Um, okay. Maybe we could have, like... I guess I might have the chimney over here again. Flat roof with a chimney. Yeah, I don't really know if I want to do a flat roof because I want to use the roof textures that come in the werewolf pack. And the werewolf pack has a lot of not flat roofs. Um, so that's kind of what I was feeling a bit inspired by. Um, again, different sort of factory from what we built last week is kind of what we're looking at right now. Maybe she should be skinnier. I think this is worse than before. I think it needs to be a weirder shape. Maybe I need to like, okay, let's try again. One more time. And then we'll figure it out after this, okay? <laughs> I'm so bad at this. This is like so, 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 so not my vibes, you know? Like this is just the complete opposite of what I feel to be my comfort zone. <laughs> It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Um, I'm gonna put like, maybe like something, I don't know. Maybe she should be skinnier. Maybe a longer shape, like what, long and wide maybe? I think this is okay. We'll see though, I guess. <laughs> We shall see. Maybe I'll put the front door like over. Oh, maybe, you know what I'm gonna do? Big mistake coming our way. Just you wait. There's gonna be diagonals on this. I've decided. Um, maybe make you go to like right there. Did she say it's sponsored? What? This? No. I don't know where you got that from. Um, today's stream is not in fact sponsored. <laughs> if it were, you would know. It would say like hashtag ad and stuff in the title. Um, not sponsored, not today. Um, you are legally required to uh, strongly disclose when things are sponsored. So if it were, you would know. Um, we were talking about like a previous sponsor in the beginning of stream, but they weren't even a Twitch sponsor. So someone who had sponsored a video of mine a few weeks ago is what they were asking about. Um, today's stream is not sponsored. Um, you also thought it was sponsored? The stream? Oh dear God. <laughs> no, not sponsored stream, not sponsored. Uh, Rose, Maggie, Pissar, Maria, Joanna, y'all thank you for the subs. Um, no, no, no. Um, yeah, I'm confused about what made you think that. Was it the beginning of stream that made you think that? Just because I was talking about, like, maybe they came in, like, halfway through the conversation and they didn't understand, maybe? I don't know. Um, is it because I'm building it for someone? <laughs> I'm building it for a friend. I am, in fact, not being paid by one of my Twitch mods to make this build. <laughs> um, not, not, in fact, what's happening here today. Um, maybe I should, like... I don't know, maybe we flatten that. Maybe, should I try and get like a chimney in the front of the building? Or what if there was like a bump out like this? I almost had it looking a little bit similar to like the um, thing that we built the other day. Okay, this might be relatively interesting. Try and like rotate that around. I guess then there would be kind of like we had earlier with a chimney right here. Okay. I don't think that, I don't, I don't know. Just hold on. <laughs> 
Just hold on. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be so fine. Um, it's gonna be really good, and we just have to get there first. That's all. Um, okay, we want to have a balcony somewhere, but probably in the back, I guess. I don't know if that screams factory. Maybe this shouldn't be that same texture. Maybe I'd do it like this, or maybe it shouldn't be like gabled or whatever. Maybe I'll do it like this one. That might have more of a factory energy to it. And then what if we had like... I don't know, I'm trying to think about something that we can put above the front door that might be, like, interesting and not too much, <laughs> which a lot of these things are probably too much. But we'll see. Maybe I'll put the roof trim on this first. That'll help a little. Is this supposed to be a working factory or a ruined factory? Um, it's a- it's an abandoned factory that has been taken over by werewolves. So it was a factory, and now wolves live here. I'm gonna have that part floating, I have decided. I think that is cool. So, we'll try that. Should this be extended over a little bit? Slight overhang? I don't know. Have I considered a basement? Yeah, we're gonna put a basement. We wanna have a basement for sure, because the idea with the basement um, is that we can have the werewolf, like, we called it the panic room um, at C's request, but you know how werewolves, when they rampage, it's nice to, like, stick them in a room so they can't break any of your stuff? Yeah. That's the idea. <laughs> so, we are going to have a basement down there for that purpose. Like a rage room, if you will. Um, okay. I don't know if I like these columns on it, but I think they're, like, somewhat interesting and cool. Make the tall bump out three stories tall like a tower? Oh, this part? You think so? I don't know. I wasn't really planning on it. We can think about it a bit more. But I wasn't really planning on doing that. Let me add some windows, and then once we figure that out, we can see if we're thinking tower. Um, because I'm not mad about the idea. What if C hates this build? What then? <laughs> After we go to all of this to build a, something for them, and then they're like, mm, It's not really what I was picturing. <laughs> no, I don't think that'll happen. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. How could they? You're so right. They they would never think that. I'm overthinking, as per usual. They wouldn't tell you. You know what? That's true. If they hate it, they won't say. Oh. No, you're right. So we have nothing to worry about then. Because if, if it's not liked, then... <laughs> They're not going to tell me. <laughs> Okay, that makes me feel better. All right, I want to have a balcony up here. I quite like the vibes of balcony up here. And then there's going to be, like, back porch. Um, maybe this is flat, but I'll put columns. I don't know. Something like that, I guess. And then I want there to be a staircase. Kind of like what we had a minute ago. But, like, I don't know, better or something? Something kind of like that. And then I shall put... Something like this. How about you? That's more than I signed up for. Okay, hold on. I might have it be kind of lofted on the inside, too. Are the stairs blue? Yeah, I'm gonna change mine, I just haven't yet. Don't worry. I might change them to a color, though. I haven't really decided what I want it to be like yet, so. Um, okay. 
Guys, I kind of missed the uh, <laughs> the starting of this conversation. <laughs> Are we doing a pronoun check in chat? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I missed the beginning. I don't, I don't know whose pronouns were. Is it our own? I use she, her pronouns. <laughs> just to be sure. Um, just, just so we're on the same page before I like start talking about it. Um, okay, I don't really think that that is all that exciting, but we'll see. Oh, do you not become big? Really? Okay. Should it go up to the edge like that? I don't really know. I think that's kind of weird. Maybe it should be flat. Flat and with platform or something. To go on top of this little section. Yes, no, I don't know. I might do that same sort of thing above the front door. Even if it's only small. I kind of like the idea of like... This sort of thing. Okay. Steal this too. See, this is the kind of time where it would be good if we had like, oh no, 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 don't do that. This would be good if we had like, um, platforms or a foundation or taller walls or something, but I'm worried about taller wall height because the windows look so puny on there. So I don't think that should be a good, a good plan. No, it's not gonna be only werewolves pack. My, my friend C who we're building it for has all the packs. Um, so we're not gonna limit- we're not gonna use every pack on purpose or anything, but we're not gonna like limit packs with this build just because the person who we're making it for, um, we're gonna try and fit it to what they're wanting and not worry too much about like limiting packs. Tall wall height for the second floor? Oh no, I- so again, I don't really want to have, uh, the medium or tall walls because the windows don't fit that well with the taller walls and it's really important to me that we have windows that don't look ridiculous. So that's kind of what I'm thinking at least. Um, okay, isn't there an upper half brick wall that you can send to the windows within the brick spot and use the bum half of the wall appear like a foundation almost? Maybe, but then they'd be really tall on the inside. Um, I'm not really, I'm not personally really considering changing the height of the um the walls i don't think i kind of like them it's i'm i'm kind of just trying to appease chat here because everybody keeps telling me to make them taller <laughs> so i keep trying to like throw out ideas like oh maybe this is a reason we could not do that <laughs> oh how about this idea <laughs> but it's not really working so okay i don't know why the columns are doing what they are doing that's really annoying um I don't know. Maybe we could do this. Maybe instead I could put like a... What if the roof was like... No, I don't like that at all. Never mind. Any ideas on why they are... There's no pillar there? Louisa, Dex, Ginger, thank you for the subs. I don't... Do you or the mods often need to ban someone from stream or chat? Oh, <laughs> yeah multiple people a day, but sometimes more than that. Um, it really just depends <laughs> on the day and what's going on. Um, some days are a little bit more chaotic than others. Um, so, like, to give an example, um, say it's, like, a day where, uh, there's been a new Sims 4 pack has come out. Um, so there's, like, a lot more people in the chat than normal. Uh, cause, you know, there's, like, Sims news and there's something going on. Not today! Just, you know, like speaking about like when the rent pack came out. Those days usually have more people because there's just more going on. Um, and then therefore more people get banned because uh, there's more people and they're like more willing to troll, I guess, when there's like a lot going on. Um, but it just depends. Sometimes you get some random people. There's always people, um, but not, not usually anything like too terrible. So, um, 
most times you never you never even know about it as a viewer so um okay I'm thinking that with this, I might try and bring this up to like the front of the lot a little bit. Maybe a little bit further back than that. I wanna get some sort of fenced in yard. Do I dare use a fence like this one <laughs> for our backyard? Do you think it's worth doing that? Or should I try and do like a debug fence? Um. I'm actually not 100% opposed to this one. I think it's kind of fun. Maybe we could have like some fencing in the front yard though. Something like that. Doing a budget for this? Um, well, I was told the budget is like 200,000 and I'm not too worried about over shooting that. Like I'm, I don't think that we're gonna spend more than 200,000, so, um, not really, not really much of a budget. And no, I don't think we're gonna finish it today. I would be nice if we did, but I don't think that's gonna work out for us, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I was supposed to start working on it yesterday, but then, um, someone, not naming any names, but somebody was having, like, really bad anxiety or something. And, Somebody, not gonna name any names, didn't feel up to streaming, so... Um, <laughs> we did not, in fact, start it yesterday as planned. <laughs> uh, there was a slight um, change of plans yesterday. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I wanted to get some stuff like uh, vines and stuff on the walls. So maybe I'll look at some of the things from university just to see. I clicked on Eco Lifestyle by accident. Whoops. Discover University. Um, <laughs> seeing Wink weak and anxious and the stream title was highly relatable. Oh yeah, in the um, in the Discord in the stream schedule, um, I changed it to say no stream. I am weak and anxious. In case anybody checked the schedule. And it was true. That was a true statement there, so. Um, is that gonna be visible on this first floor? Okay, how about if I made you not small? It's a little bit visible on the inside, but not by too much. You can't really even see that clipping like at all. Oh, it clips up there though. Does that bother us? Hard to say at this current time. We'll see. I think we need to like, kinda up the overgrown energy though. I think that's gonna help, so. I've sort of taught myself to not worry too much if um, it's like the vines are clipping a little. Cause, eh. You know? Yeah, and C specifically said that they wanted a lot of plants in this build. Um, that was a specific request mentioned. So we'll try and get a bunch of ivy around. That looks terrible. Go small. Okay. Yeah, with this roof swatch, you can't tell that it's clipping that much either. I don't know if I like it or not, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, do I want to fence that all the way in? I don't know. Depends what I end up putting there. Let me look at some of the werewolves debug. Yeah, and it can grow upward like that. So just, just let it be, you know? Um, it's not that weird, I swear. Okay, maybe I'll use some of these debug trees and like fill in some space on the lot. I like these because you can place them and then have like multiple trees that are kind of going off the lot. And I think that's really good for this sort of situation when we're kind of trying to have like forest energy, you know? We want it to like blend into the environment quite well. So I think that works. Um, 
Do I want to like really make it foresty? Oh, I haven't saved yet either. We'll do that too. Good call. Good idea. Okay. Um, if I thought about adding in the water wheel from Cottage Living, I wasn't planning on adding that in, no. Um, I know that uh, some people were saying that, but I don't know if that's like the vibes of the build in this particular case, but we'll, we'll see. We didn't really add in water on the exterior of this one this time around, so. Um, does Sims have graffiti art you can put on homes? Yeah, there's a bunch of like graffiti and stuff that we can use. We actually have a lot of options like that that we can put in. I might need to rethink this vine situation. I like them, but I don't know if I like them yet. I might try and fit in some more landscaping first and then like come back to that. Cause I'm not really sure about it yet. There was a water wheel. There's a, it's in debug, so you can't get it that easily. It's not like the most commonly used, but um, let me just stack up a bunch of these things quick so I can pull from them around the place. Yeah, one of the uh, graffiti things is called Simsy was here. This is not about me. It's a reference to Banksy, not me, because this is before I even like was doing YouTube that much. But um, yes, there is graffiti called Simsy was here. <laughs> so we can always use that somewhere. I'm not opposed to it. Um, mark my uh, my place, you know. <laughs> I was here. <laughs> Um, werewolves. I don't know if I want to use these little things. I'm not really sure. What headphones are those? These? These are uh, the Logitech Aurora headphones. I really like them. They're actually wireless headphones, but I use them with a cord. Um, this is not like a, a special cord. I literally just bought it on Amazon, but it's pink, so it's cute. <laughs> uh, they are wireless headphones, though, if you want to use them wireless. Um, okay, I want to look at some of the stuff from the industrial loft kit. Yeah, I really like these headphones though. I've never been a big headphone person, like, in all my days, uh, as many of you know, I, I, for years, only really used, like, the little Apple earbuds. Um, these are, like, so much more comfortable. I, that's why I use them for stream, because they're, like, way more. I use the little ones for my videos, because they're, like, less intrusive on my head when I'm recording. But this is like, I don't care about that too much when I'm streaming, so these are better. So, um, that's why I use them for my streams, but, um, I'm, I'm a gamer girl, so I need my gamer girl headphones, you know? But these are just way better, so I like them a lot. I'm a big fan. I might use this somewhere on the inside, because that's kind of cool. We'll probably use a lot of the industrial loft kit on the interior. Um... And then, I'm not obsessed with the back. I think that the back could probably use some work. I mean, I need to think about it some more. I don't know. Um, am I gonna post it as a speed build on YouTube? Yeah, probably, Ellen. I don't have a, a time frame exactly lined up for when I'll post this on YouTube, but I post pretty much all my builds on YouTube as speed builds, so this one, I assume will be the same. Thought the back looked nice. Oh, did you think so? Okay. I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep thinking about landscaping and then we can come back to the back. How about that? Um, okay, I think... Um, werewolves. Maybe like, oh, we should put a beware sign. I don't think that sees werewolves are like scary, but <laughs> I want it. So <laughs> I'm going to use it. <laughs> I'm going to put it there. <laughs> it's like the no pooping sign or something. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then we could probably put a bunch of, um, I don't know. I guess I could put some like. Are we doing trash? 
Are we doing trash? Maybe, do we want, this is the, this is the problem, right? It's like, do you want trash? Or do we want it to be intentionally a little bit more like, um, I don't know. Clean, overgrown, but not like full of trash. The werewolf, where, where, the werewolves, <laughs> I was gonna say the werewolves world, but then I stopped myself and started saying the werewolves. The werewolves is very uh, full of trash outside, like everywhere. Um, but I don't know if that's what we're going for with this. I think overgrown, but not full of trash is good. So I'll, I'll aim for the overgrownness of it all. No trash, just overgrown. Um, okay, I'm gonna like really, really layer up with the plants then, if we're doing that. I'm thinking like, I want a lot of bushes. I think I want another tree over here too. That one's so weird looking. I like these trees. I think that one's kind of cool. I don't know. Eco-friendly werewolves don't litter. <laughs> oh, okay, they picked up the trash. Of course, of course, they picked it up so there's no trash out here. They keep it clean. Um, okay. Probably gonna want the woohoo bush somewhere. I'll just put it in there for now, just so it's like, the, the it's saved for us. Um, and then we'll come back to it. Okay. Definitely a dumpster though. Oh yeah, we can get a dumpster. That'll be good. I like the vision. Um, okay, let me think about the back again then. I'm just gonna stack up a bunch of these so I can copy from them without having to go back into debug. But, oh, you know what else I need is the roof needs to be like fixed like this. I liked how originally we had some of the yellow. We were like trying to mix in some of this. I don't know if that's like so totally weird to try and add in on the side there, but I'm kind of interested in having it like on the corners. I don't know if that's good or not. It might be a little busy, but that is kind of what I'm going for. But I think that helps with the, the roof. I don't know. Should we mix and match the roof a bit? Do we dare? Different texture on the yellow parts? I don't know if that's cool. I can't really tell. I need to think about it more. Sometimes, I always say this, but sometimes when I'm doing these builds, it helps me to just like make a decision like that and like let it sit there. You don't have to like be 100% confirmed on that decision, but just like putting it down and then thinking about it is really helpful to me to figure out if I actually like it or not, you know? Um, but sometimes it just gotta, just gotta like look at it for a bit. Oh, that doesn't look good. Tilly, I'm not gonna give you my good reads. You can ask a million times. I'm not gonna give you my good reads. <laughs> I'm not gonna give anyone my good reads. <laughs> I'm so sorry to say it, but. <laughs> That's mine. Well then give me a build on my birthday. I don't, but I, we cannot just, we can't get into the habit of this because then I'm only gonna be building, it, it would be like, then everyone's gonna be like, but what about mine? And then it's like, oh no, but then I can only do so many. And then it's like, oh, we, we've set a dangerous precedent by allowing the mods to force me into a Sims build, I fear. It'll be okay. How does that look? Oh, clipping. Yikes. Sad for us. Okay. I'll see, Tilly. I'll see. <laughs> I shall think about it. How about that? Um, I'm gonna come back to that part too. 
Do we know if Kayla even has a Goodreads? <laughs> Could you imagine I'm, I've been pretending to have one? No, I, um, I don't really post on it. It's like not that big of a deal. Um, and I, I don't know, the books that I read are for me. That's why I don't really want it to become like a thing and then everybody on the internet's like, let me see it. So that's why it's just not that big of a deal. It's not like it's a secret. It's just like, I don't really care to have it become like a thing, you know? <laughs> But yeah, if I didn't have one and I was like sat here being like, I'll never tell you what it is. <laughs> and it doesn't even exist. Could you imagine? <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Um, okay, maybe on the roof back here, we could try and get a couple other little things. Um... How bad would it be if I tried to stick that? You can't really stick that on the roof though, can you? Hmm. Maybe not. We can always try and get some like, oh, I need the door. That'll be good. And then I'm gonna want, oh, Island Living has, it's metal. I know it is, hello? Island Living. This one could be good to put, okay, that's a little bit bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> I'm just thinking if we did that, that might be a good way to have like something over the door. It goes like underneath the stairs, which maybe is weird, I don't know. When it's small like that, it's extra weird. Maybe that's okay still. I can't really tell, move over here. I want the werewolves to have a kind of cute little back patio. Long was good. Oh, you think so? Really? Okay, what color? These do come in some like kind of I would say chaotic colors. That bluish one might be okay with the roof. Um, is that clipping now with the inside? Yeah. That really complicates things. Okay, so you just something like that probably. I guess that's not centered, so that's half the problem. Something like that, I guess? I don't know. Maybe I'll scoot that over. Also don't know about that. Still unsure. Paint that yellow. I can make this part yellow on the little thingy. I'm building the werewolf house for one of my friends who is playing with a couple of werewolves right now in their own gameplay. So we're making this for them. <laughs> Would the tire flower containers be a good idea? That's a cute one. We could try and add in something like that. I like that. Um, I'm not opposed to that. Do you think it's cute if we have like something up against the edge like this? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, maybe like filter by werewolves again. Did I get my wedding dress? No, I'm literally going tomorrow <laughs> in real life, in real life. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna end up buying one tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Um, when I think about it, I want to cry of stress. So we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. It'll be interesting. Oh, I love this. I think that looks really good right there. Some nice primary colors. I'm thinking that in this section, this is where I'm gonna have um, like a grill, bar and grill thing. Um, so I'm gonna try and make sure we have enough stuff here to fit that. And then, will I stream tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow in the afternoon. Yeah, that is my plan. Um, werewolves again, oops. Maybe instead of the fence, you could do the half wall. Well, I kind of want to mix and match them together. That's why I had put that there. I was kind of trying to think about a way to fit in both. Oh, we're going to need a mailbox too. 
That's cute. You're not excited about Super Bowl Sunday? Really? I am... Um, my... I'm gonna go watch the game with my parents. I'm really not a football person, but my mom's family are like massive, massive Chiefs fans. So they're very excited about all of this business. <laughs> um, so I think it'll be kind of fun to watch it with my parents, but I also, I think it's always nice to, to partake in, you know, the special events, if you will. Um, werewolves, that's coming up. Yeah, it's on Sunday. <laughs> it is coming up fast, actually. Come back. Okay, so I don't think I want to use that color for the patio. I'm not super opposed to using some of that kind of stuff on the inside, but definitely not on the outside. Jungle Adventure. How about that instead? Jungle Adventure has some like... Oh, that has like reddish vibes. I don't know, is that okay? It has yellowish vibes too. Doesn't mean it's good that way, but it does have them. I think I'll probably do like a smaller path up to that. Okay, something like this will be good. I don't know if I like it, but once we start actually doing the outside, we can mess with that a little bit more. Should there be, I'm trying to decide, should they have, I don't think they should have a pool. I don't think that a pool is good for our backyard, for the werewolves at least. I'm leaning towards no pool. Can make it the like mucky kind? Ooh, we can make it gross. I guess that's true. That would be disgusting. But dogs love to swim. <laughs> I, we could also do a pond. I'm kind of feeling as though maybe a actual pool is better than a pond. But honestly, what do I know? What do I know? Empty pool would be cool. Oh. But it's supposed to be a factory. Would the factory have had a empty pool that has since been opened up? I don't know. For their toxic waste disposal? Would they just dump toxic waste in there? You think so? I mean, we could put like, if I try and flood this, can you flood a room with water can't be added to an open basement? Oh, so sad. Um, but I guess we could put like, no, I don't think that C Sims would have this. I feel like they probably would want it to be nicer than this. I don't really, it's, maybe it used to be that, but it's been converted as, as previously discussed. And now it's nice. Right? We can still make the water like, oh. We can put some leaves in it. You said you wanted green as part of the color scheme. <laughs> no, maybe just a little bit of leaves. Just a few leaves. That one's kind of nice too, I don't know. What products are they making? Well, I don't know what products they used to make. Again, it's gonna be, a, it's a house. It used to be a factory. Now it is a house, so. Oh, I actually think that's relatively nice. Should I move that over there? And then we have the lounge chairs on this side. That's a lot of leaves. Yeah, it's kind of like mossy. 
And you know how people here feel about moss. <laughs> you know what the people think about moss around these parts. <laughs> um, I think that's kind of interesting. It makes for a cool layout of the backyard, I think. And that's probably good. Okay. A garden? I don't know. So, C's sims let me tell you what their stuff is again so um i'm scrolling back so i forgot it. <laughs> one of them is a bookworm neat and a snob the other one is active loves the outdoors and hot-headed um so they're not big gardeners at least not too much so um move fence back away by one. Oh, this one yeah, I can make this one a little bit wider on this side, I guess. We have some more space. Might be a little better that way. Um, okay. Grass. A little outside gym moment. Yeah, maybe. I was kind of thinking about that, too. I'm also wondering if we should do, like, a debug stone pathway up to the front. I don't know. We can get some outdoor gym equipment underneath some of the trees, which I would like. We will have, there's gonna be a gym inside though. So we don't need to have like the only one outside, just so you're aware. We're gonna have a gym inside already. Um, we need a gym in an office. Those are the, the main requests. Werewolves, castle path. Oh, the castle one maybe is an idea. That could definitely work too. Okay, we're gonna wanna have like some sort of way to get out of here. Right there, maybe. Fire pit? That is one way to light see Sims on fire. Yeah, you might be onto something there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good call. Um, yikes. I don't know about this. Fire pits are like such a curse in this game. You know what I mean? Hi, Kayla. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being nice. <laughs> that is very kind of you. Um, I think, are those debug fences? No, this is a regular fence. It's from werewolves. Um, we got a lot of debug plants, but all the fences that we're using right now are real fences. Nothing fake. Um, okay, maybe we get some, like, wood for the deck up here. Alright, I wouldn't say the landscaping is done. It's still most certainly a work in progress. Um, but we need to figure out the floor plan and we'll come back to the outside. Um, I do like how the outside is starting to look though. Hopefully C likes it because I, I feel like you can see the vibes that we're going for right now. Um, yeah, we're basically building a house for my one of my mods werewolf couple. <laughs> um, that is that is the vibes that we're working on at the moment. Um, okay, so on the inside, I'm gonna use that door somewhere. That's the only thing I know. We're gonna need to get a staircase, and I'm thinking that I want the upstairs to be, like, very much lofted. I'm kind of into the idea of opening up... Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, I'm very much into the idea of opening it up like this. I guess that part becomes a bathroom, yeah. Um... We'll see about specifics in a minute, but that could be a bathroom. That's not too bad. Although it's kind of weirdly shaped. I don't know. Um, you're getting an ad, but you're subbed? Oh, that's really bad. Twitch, you need to get it together. I'm sorry that is happening. I do not know why. Um, I have the setting. I never changed it, so <laughs> no subs should get ads. Okay, imagine for a second, though, that there's, like, a bed in this corner. Maybe they have like a 
reading nook or something over there. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, but, oh, wow. Maybe you get smaller? Oh, bad, 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 bad. Shrink this. No. Bad, 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 bad. Okay. This goes... Hold on. I've got the vibes figured out, chat. Don't you worry. It goes like that. There becomes a wall here. And that's the upstairs. The upstairs uh, lofted bedroom for the primary bedroom. I think that's cool. I like it. And we can get some cool stuff. Like, we could totally use this again on the inside. And that might be kind of fun just to have some, like, lofted, interesting factory vibes. Um, I do think that the downstairs down here right now is a little bit on the small side. <laughs> it's leaning a little bit tiny, which is not really what I was envisioning, especially because we want to have, um, in this place, we still need to have an office, a guest bedroom, a gym, and a staircase to access the basement. <laughs> and I think that the basement should be like, I don't know, nice and prominently visible. Oops, wrong place. I think we could stack the stairs. I don't think that's bad. Yeah, there's only two sims that live here, so it doesn't need to be too wide open, does it? You're right, see. Um, the gym could always go in the basement. And also, potentially, like, this might make for a cute office nook. I just would prefer, I think I might try and have that be like a, you know, place for the dresser kind of situation, as opposed to an office nook, because it's kind of small up there. I'd like to have a real office. Um, but maybe in this area, what if there becomes like, I guess this has too much hallway. I think basement gym is good because the basement gym gives us a reason to have the gym or to have the basement, I mean. And then we can also sneakily put the werewolf panic room for when they're rampaging and you can just lock them in there, you know? Um, okay. <laughs> So I'm thinking right now, the living room needs to be on this angle. It's not going to be this rug, don't worry. I'm just putting it so I can think about the spacing. I'm thinking the living room goes... It won't be that either. <laughs> Imagine living room kind of like that in that area. Then we could get a nice big dining table. Not that one. Again, I'm just putting space spacers in. Could be like four seats. Nice big dining table. And then the kitchen goes back here in this cool open area. I will have to move these up a smidge. And that is clipping, so that's pretty mean of it. But it'll be kind of, this is fancy. It's quite big. They could even have like, I don't know, a big section there, something like that. We can get some more columns in or two. I don't know really yet, but we'll see. So I'm, I'm sort of feeling like at the moment, maybe some of this gets closed off. This could become the guest room for when we have guests staying over. Oh, we don't have an office yet. Uh oh. Okay. Maybe the, oh, you can't even be bigger. I don't know what I'm thinking. There's, it's open to the downstairs. Um, so initial thought is like guest room, downstairs bathroom, but then there's not like the proper dedicated office space of my dreams that I feel like these Sims deserve, um, which makes me feel sad because I want them to have a nice one. Oh, wow. 
Maybe the office space goes upstairs though, in this room. And maybe the, the guest room could be in the basement. In the house that I was born in, um, like where my parents lived in Illinois, they had a bedroom in the basement they used as a guest room. And my grandparents' house has a bedroom in the basement they use as a guest room too. It used to be my uncle's bedroom, but. Industrial loft sliding door? Oh, that's even better. Okay. Industrial loft kit. Um, somehow this place is like enormous and yet it's not big enough. Oh, I was thinking about this one, wasn't I? As the, no, oh my gosh, you guys, let's use that as access into the guest room from the basement. Let's make it like look like a feature. And we could always do a Murphy bed in there and then it could be like a basement TV room that also happens to have a, um, a bed in it, you know? I think that could be cool. And then this makes for like a cool wall on the, on the gym. Cause this is gonna be the gym. So we've made it like interesting now in the basement with the wall there. And I don't think they need to have a window. It's just a guest room, so. Pam, Shauna, Clyde, and Livins, and Andre, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, so maybe I will use the industrial loft kit for this part then. Cause that's a nice vibe. It's quite open to get into the little room there. Maybe I'll make her bigger. May as well, we got the space for it right now. Okay. Nice big office space. We'll have a whole wall of bookshelves or something. I don't know. Um, okay. I am sort of feeling like I want for this part to be, I don't know. There's just a lot of like open space that I'm not really feeling obsessed with. Um, but I might be overthinking it. We have a nice huge bathroom upstairs. That's a nice feature, that helps. Okay, so in the interior, is this for a save? No, it's for one of my mods. <laughs> they, they, uh, I got peer pressured into doing a werewolf build and then all of a sudden I was making it um, specifically for some sims that one of my mods has. <laughs> it's, it's just a couple of werewolves basically. Um, but, that's where we're at right now. It's not C's fault that I got peer pressured. It's collectively the mod's fault as a group. So, true story. I don't like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm looking for a door that feels kind of... <laughs> not that one, sorry for yawning, not that one. Um, maybe... To be honest, that one might not be too bad. I don't love this. This is what's making me sad is like the door situation here. Oh, we need to get for this room. We need to put like a vault door <laughs> or something. The cautionary tail door. It is a cautionary tale about corruption and betrayal, you know? And getting hit by a bus or something. <laughs> uh, Elle, I'm proud, thank you for the subs. Nice, secretive, scary door. Okay, that seems good to me. The only thing that I'm not really feeling right now is I feel as though this hallway is kind of like wasted space, just a little bit. Um, it's making me wonder if maybe I should try to flip around the staircase situation, but no, I need to leave it. I think it's fine. I'm overthinking. I don't even know if I can get down there like that. Um, and I hate, I hate how the door looks to this bathroom, just like on this big wall next to the front door. I wish that there was like a some sort of division between them. But you can't really achieve that very easily. 
Maybe once I furnish it, it'll come together a bit nicer. Okay, I do not like this flooring. I don't intend to use this flooring. It was mostly just there so I could think about it. Um, I would rather use, perchance, a little half wall, what, like right here? I mean, you could do a half wall. We're also going to have, and I haven't done this yet, but we're going to have it. I know that for a fact. There's going to be, um, like, this ceiling rail. No, please don't go all the way there. Yikes. We're going to have this. And that does help as kind of a divide between the two areas. So that might not, might not be too bad. We also had the column there before and I decided I didn't like it, but it might not be too bad anymore now that we have the, the wall added in, you know? It's a good bit of separation. Maybe I could stick that in the corner and then have like a bookshelf there or something too, just to really prove the separation. Let me look at werewolves. I actually have an idea. I'm distracted. I was trying to think about um, the layout in here and then I kind of messed myself up. But I'm wondering if it works kind of like a divider, which is so fun to me, but I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It might not be. Um, I do like these bookcases though. I think those are so cool. Can I fit multiple of them? Yes. Uh, but it would be cool if we had a divider. I don't, I just don't know if, um, if it's worthwhile. It's kind of cool. Where's the gym? The gym is the, the whole basement, basically. Um, this area in the basement is the gym. All right, let me think about the kitchen and then maybe we can figure it out from there. Okay, so Home Chef Hustle, that's what I was trying to look at a second ago because I was thinking about trying to use like, oh, not run down enough, sorry. That was like too fancy. We want it to be like kind of run down, abandoned energy. You know what else we could do that might help is if we got Maybe if we had like some wood floor in a couple of places, like maybe if there was wood floor in like this half of the building, that helps with the divide between the entryway and the rest of it, you know? Um, doesn't have to be those wood floors, but it might be good to have like some separation between the two halves. Courtyard, oasis, floor. Um, I think that one is not what you're talking about. <laughs> I think you might mean the Desert Lux Kit one. Desert Lux Kit is good for this too. Um, but even then it's, it's also very, I don't know. I don't know. The linoleum is very run down, but it might be okay. Is there only one room? What do you mean? It's, it's just the two bedrooms because there's a basement, uh, room. But yes. Yeah, I think that the wood that we have actually looks really good with the broken tiles. If I'm being completely honest, I think it looks pretty cool like that. So. Okay, I kind of want to get a bar. I don't usually put bars in my builds, but I think a bar would be cool. You know, all the entertaining the wolves are going to be wanting to do. Oh. It's green. Okay, that was unexpected. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I mean, the green, it's, it's got potential. So C did say specifically greens, yellows, and browns as the color scheme on the inside. So we're gonna try and fit in green. Like we already know that. Um, so that's not too bad, I don't think. We, we know that we want to have greens, yellows, and browns in here. And all that does is just fit the vibe that we're going for. Okay, I am gonna give us some, like, relatively expensive appliances in the kitchen, because just because the place is kind of run down does not mean we can't have nice things, you know? 
Hey, Rosanna, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. We're trying to build a werewolf house right now. <laughs> um, I'm not the best at this. It's like half done on the exterior, half done on the interior. We're we're still working on it, but we're we're trying to do a, were a little werewolf build today. Um, so hopefully you had a good stream and welcome in everybody. It is so good to see you. Um, ew, yikes. Let me look at, I don't think werewolves has a bar stool, but let me just look at the like stuff that comes with it for the chairs. I don't really know if I intend to use that chair either. Um, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not, this isn't like exactly my comfort zone <laughs> werewolf builds. Um, so I'm doing the best that I can with the abilities that I have. <laughs> um, so bear with me, you know, but we're having fun, I think. Um, the industrial loft kit has stools. Yeah, so we could use the industrial loft kit ones. That would be good too. Um, if we wanted to try those. I don't really want that though. Okay, I might get like some sort of, no, this one. Of course, it's not really the right colors. In fact, it hardly matches at all. But I guess we could use, this one matches. We could use that one instead. How about some pipes? Yeah, we'll get some like decor like that. Um, definitely. We're gonna use a lot of the industrial loft kit stuff. So we'll add in a lot of those sorts of things. Um, yeah, I guess that these industrial loft kit ones are probably better. They're not really gonna come in. Oh, that's the yellow that we talked about. I think that might be a little bit on the bold side. Although we have a lot of yellow happening in here. So it might not be terrible. I don't know. We can get some cool lighting above there. Um, yeah, they tie in the windows. Let's, you know what, chat? Let's try it. Let's commit to trying it. Cause you never know, we might end up liking it a lot. So. Let's do it and see how it goes. Don't have to keep it if we end up not liking it, but it might be cool. Werewolves. Where did you go? It's at the bottom. I always like lose the pack that I'm looking for. <laughs> Chris, uh, a girl, and Rosanna, thank you for the raise. 12 months. Thank you so much. Uh, and, and Animal Crossing, Katie, Danny, Elbel, critically, thank you for the sub. Six years. Oh my. Isn't that like alarming when you think about it? Anybody else get alarmed when they think about how long that's been? <laughs> when I think about like how long ago I started streaming, I'm always kind of like, ooh, how is that possible? <laughs> oh, uh oh, you know, where did the time go? Scary, scary, scary. Okay, anything here kind of tie colors together? Not really. That has that like reddish brown color that we talked about. But it might also be better. What was the one that we used? I know I just did this, okay? So I'm sorry for doing it again because I literally used it in the castle we did last week. But I actually think that, um, I don't know, something along those lines might tie stuff together nicely. There's also like this option, which maybe could be good. I don't know. I don't know. I think that this green is throwing it off, at least for now. I want to be able to control the green on my own terms, and I think that having that green there was kind of almost- oh, wait, which color are you? Are you trying to say that's the same color? No, it's not. You're a liar. I think that having the green there almost like makes it not look like it's all one island. But then if we do this, this has like some slight yellow in the table, which is interesting. Um, if we could try and like pull from that, I don't know, green chairs maybe. Yeah. I mean, these have like some painted versions of them too. 
if we so desired to to use those. I don't know, it's not really giving like rundown on the interior. It doesn't really have to, but it's just something to consider. Oh. The like reclaimed wood is kind of cool. Maybe we do that table, but not those chairs. Perhaps. That does make it quite tight. Um, let me look at all the things that are yellow. <laughs> the werewolf run down rug. Yeah, we were looking at those first. The colors didn't really work on the werewolf rug. So that's why we didn't pick the werewolf rug. Trash can. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get all the necessities. Don't worry. We just haven't um, finished yet. Sometimes it helps to think about layout in a bit broader terms. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know about that. Space chair. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Um. Yeah, maybe it is the rug that's the problem. We're gonna wanna have- we need rugs for like so many places. The fold-out chairs would be cute. Oh, you know what we could do is use these. Those might be okay. Because that brings in a couple of the colors that we're trying to use. And then maybe if we get like some sort of plant that has wolf-like energy. I don't really know what that means, but... It can be something kind of small. There is a rundown rug from Get Famous. That one I end up using a lot more than the werewolves one because it's a little bit bigger. Um, but I use this a lot and I don't know if that's like... What are the vibes? You see, that has like... It's very much reddish, and I don't know if that's what we're doing with this. You think it doesn't need a rug? Oh, really? I feel like it kind of needs a rug. I don't like the paranormal rug. I think that laundry day could maybe work for this. You know what else might be kind of cool? Move that over there. The laundry day, like layered rugs, might actually look really good as the living room setup. Now that I think about it, that could like totally work in there. Of course, now this rug kind of works for the living room and we already used it, but maybe we could do this one in like the other rug pattern. Cause that has like the slightest littlest bit of yellow. So that kind of helps. I don't know, what do you think? I'm not sure, cause I'm not good at building things for werewolves. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, um, werewolves again. We could always try and like really up the vibes with the interior decor too. I don't know if I like that there, but we'll find something. Needs to be a little messy, maybe? Yeah, well, I don't want it to be, like, the messiest thing in the world, I don't think. I do know that I want to have brick behind the kitchen cabinets. I think that, like, that whole wall should be brick. I don't think that every wall should be brick. But I think specifically the front and the back walls should be brick. So, like, those sections. Where's the floor from? Oh, this floor is from werewolves and the wood floor is base game. Yeah, I don't really want it to be messy. I think eccentric is a good, a better way of describing that. I agree with you on that one. Um, it might be kind of fun to have like some of this on the interior. If we tried to put that like in the living room or in the, sorry, in the dining room. Um, it has a little bit of yellow. <laughs> so that's a good start, right? Maybe we do like, oh no, I was gonna put something on this wall, but it shouldn't be, 
we need to be somewhat careful about how much. Let me think about couches. I don't think I want to use the werewolf couch. If I do, it'll be like in the gym, in the basement. What I think I'd rather use is the stuff from the industrial loft kit. I know this is like not helping the fancy accusations, but... Oh. That one's cool. Right? Fancy and wolf and grunge somehow. All of those things at once. <laughs> Thoughts? Uh-oh. I was gonna try and um, build myself a little custom TV stand, but I forgot we're on a diagonal right now. <laughs> and one of them is a snob. Exactly. Good point, C. One of them is a snob. So it's okay that it's a little fancy. Fancy in like wolf terms, you know? Okay, you say you want fancy, I'll give you fancy. I think that's cool vibes. Okay, and then more industrial loft. I'm thinking a couple of these chairs. Something like that, perhaps. It's making you want to play with a werewolf again, is it really? Yeah, I haven't played with a werewolf in a bit. They're kind of fun. Okay. Um, they're also going to have a lot of plants. They're supposed to be like big plant people. Big, well, big plant wolves <laughs> is probably the better descriptor. <laughs> they're not so much plant people, but they are big plant wolves. <laughs> Um, okay, I think I want to change this, although, now that I say that, I think the yellow is good, so maybe I don't want to change that. Um, do we need, like, mm. Window behind the couch? We could put a window behind the couch. I kind of want to put something, like, decorative behind the couch. Um, I think maybe, like, a shelf of some sort might be kind of nice. Oh, these would also be kind of nice if we use this shelf somewhere. Although it's kind of fancy, so I don't know if that's for the best. Maybe in the basement? Werewolves recliners, maybe? I don't know. I don't... <sighs> Despite my best efforts, I really, really, really find it hard to want to use the werewolves recliners. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. There's just something about it. I can't... Didn't you have a spellcaster marry a werewolf in some gameplay once? Oh yeah, I've played with werewolves. I just don't play with werewolves that often. Um, I don't really play with occult sims that often. Just generally speaking, so. That's what I mean by that. You've never gotten the Night Wraith curse? Have you not? Yeah, I haven't either. <laughs> I don't really ever play with spellcasters, though. Um, similar to werewolves. I'm just not like a big occult sims player. Um, it's not really my preference. So, oh, that does not look how I want it to, in the slightest. Uh-oh. Do we want a shelf behind this? How do you even get that curse? I don't, I don't know. If I'm being honest with you, I don't know. Um, that is kind of horrendous a little bit. Maybe no shelf is better. Um, no, let me get the werewolf stuff. 
what's the Night Wraith curse? It's it's for spellcasters. It's something that the spellcaster, not the castle estate kit. It's a curse that can affect spellcasters in The Sims 4. Um, it's like the Grim Reaper shows up a little bit, except it's not the Grim Reaper. Um, it's the Night Wraith thingy. Um, and it's bad. Makes your sim like miserable and sleepy and all kinds of stuff. Um, no, that's not good. Maybe swap this around so that rug is more in the corner. No. Oh my god. I haven't got a single clue what I'm going for with this. Maybe we put... No. Can you date him? Who the night the night wraith? Well, I mean, you probably won't want to, because they like keep your sim awake nonstop. So your sim is like basically always tired and, and uncomfortable and miserable because you can't sleep when they're around. Um so I I am sort of of the opinion that they're not really the kind of person that you would want to date. But I don't know you and, and your dreams, so I'll never sit here and try and tell you what to do. It's just like that sim in particular. I don't know if you want to date them. <laughs> it might be interesting to try as like an experiment, see if you can successfully date the Night Wraith or something, I don't know. Um, could be a cool idea. Makes the challenge more fun. I guess that's true. You're right about that. Talking about Greg? No. <laughs> We're talking about the Night Wraith. <laughs> um, again, it's a curse that can affect your spellcaster sims. So only your spellcasters will have to worry about the Night Wraith. And even then, I've never seen it. So, in my own game. I've seen it happen to other people. So... Um, maybe I put this giant plant here. I don't know if I like that one, but maybe it's cool. Who knows? For the dining, living room, something? I don't know. I don't think I like this wall of paneling. I think that maybe the yellow is a bit much. It might benefit from like toning it down just a smidge. We do want to add in some green. Do these sims love plants? Why do they love plants? Oh, why? I don't know. <laughs> We're building this for my friend C's sims. Um, so I could not answer your question about why they love plants. C loves plants. Um, so. Um, okay. Okay. I think that, um, maybe, oh, no, put it back. I like plants, so my sims like plant. There you go. Final answer. <laughs> um, okay. I think that, um, maybe, I do like the idea of a standing lamp next to this stuff. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll get a picture on the wall too. Can you have babies with the Night Wraith? I don't know. That's a good question. Oh, see, maybe, do you want like some, a spot for you to put some photos of your Sims? This might be good. You could like layer up some photos of them on the wall kind of next to this area. That seems practical and useful, right? I don't know. I think that looks better like that, with that all in the corner. I can't really tell. Um, okay, maybe if we got like, can you date Grim? Um, you can you can romance the Grim Reaper if you so desire. The option is available to you. Okay, I think that um, 
cracks on the green wall. Oh, maybe. It doesn't have to be this green wall. It's clipping in the corner. Yeah, there's a little bit of plant clipping there, but we're just gonna like not worry about that. <laughs> I'm gonna redo the outside a bunch more. So, um, I think that, um, I'm looking at just green, generally speaking. We could do like a darker wall. It doesn't really match the rugs. That's the problem. I like these rugs, but it's not really... I guess you can't really tell that that's the same rug, can you? <laughs> Maybe you can. I don't know. I think if I flip it around, it would be okay. It's not so obvious. When it's further away, you can't tell as much. It, it was on. It was on sale. They got a deal on it. <laughs> Little uh, buy one get one free situation. So, <laughs> so they've got two of them. That's all. <laughs> Shall I put? couple legs under this. Werewolves are, you know, savvy shoppers and whatnot, so. <laughs> Love a good bargain. Um, okay, I think that, um, oh, we wanted to use this outside. That was like totally part of the vision for the patio space somewhere. What's the budget? Oh, we were told like 200K, so we're not too worried about the budget situation because um, we we knew that we had a lot of money to work with in this particular instance um so we don't have to think about it that much um okay something like that maybe maybe with some books in front of it i don't know if i even like that oh my god delete the wall silly simsy Gold? I think I like the gold one. Decorations. Let's look at clutter again. Oh my god, this is gonna be such a. We're never gonna finish it. <laughs> we're never gonna finish it. It's okay, we'll finish it tomorrow if we have to. Okay, that has a little bit of the yellow that we wanted. The gold is also basically yellow, you know? That's the beauty of it. Um, I don't know if I am feeling entirely obsessed with this room. I think that like the area above the TV sounds like you're trying to get out of playing 100 Baby tomorrow. No, we could do both, Christine. I have to finish this build at some point. You think it needs curtains? I don't know. I mean, it might need curtains, but... Um... I'm on to you, okay. Uh, I know that C said we love plants. I think that doing like wall of plants inside is like a little bit too much. It's cool, but I think it's too much. I don't know. I can't tell. Maybe it is cool. Size the mural down. Oh, you think so? I kind of liked it being big. If we size it down, we can raise it up more and you can see more of it. Um, if I did the plant curtains behind the couch or in a hallway, I kind of like them there, to be honest. Um, let me see, I wanna get I love the idea of some fairy lights on this wall. I think that's also cool. Change it to a darker swatch of this? Uh, not really. <laughs> we can make it lighter. <laughs> I've never, ever, ever given in to chat's desires to have that on the inside of, of a house. I usually um, really push back against it. 
when they want it inside. Um, unless it's like a fairy house or something. But, um... Okay, I think that, um... Let me see from... These two might be better. Make it a little bit simpler. Lined up like that. Okay. What do we not like inside? The plant curtains. It's not that we don't like it inside, it's just that I feel like sometimes it's too much. I've, I've not normally managed to fit it into my builds and not thought that it was like so busy and too much. But we can try it in here. We're gonna try it. Ceiling paint? Oh, maybe. Um, I, I think that might be good. I, if, if we're gonna add ceiling paint, I'm just warning you now, I am not doing that until last. And I'm not kidding when I say last because the ceiling paint is so laggy, it is unbelievably agitating to me. Um, so <laughs> we're not gonna be doing that. <laughs> it's so laggy, it's so frustrating to work with. Um, all right. Werewolves. All right, decorations. I'm thinking I wanna get like, maybe something a little bit wolf decor vibes, you know? So this might be kind of cute if we had like a couple of these put together. Although maybe it's better if I angle them this way. <laughs> Hold on, maybe I'll angle you like that. You're kind of in the plant, but that's no big deal. Oh no. I might need to do a switcheroo. Hold on. Saved lately? No, actually. <laughs> I will, hold on. Let me just get this stuff placed first. Um, you kind of wish werewolf tales, tales weren't CC? Yeah, I can see that. Um, it's anytime there's like a thing that people really want, it's a shame when there's like only a mod version of it. Um, Cause obviously not everybody can download mods. So it kind of leaves a lot of people uh, wanting and unable to get with a lot of that stuff. Um, okay, I kind of want like a magazine or something. Where living magazine? That's cool. I want the like, I think it's from the everyday clutter kit. I want this. I think that board games are fun, so I shall try and fit one in. I'll move the clutter magazine. I'll get a little plant too. Um, okay. Yeah, I have heard about that, Noah. I feel like maybe we should talk about it now. Um, there's been a- <laughs> I don't mean to- I'm not saying this to like freak you guys out, okay? Um, but it's important to know. Um, there's been some issues with uh, some Sims 4 mods being put up for download that contain malware. Specifically, it like runs an exe file without your permission um, that like messes with your computer. Long story short. Um, there's a few mods specifically that are affected. Uh, a couple people on the Sims resource were like hacked and so there were mods uploaded there. There are people posing as a creator and uploading it. There's like just a random person uploading it. Um, and it's the same specific files. You need to be really, really vigilant of this, okay? Um, you're looking for uh, the exe files or the, the files you're looking for are socialevents.package and socialevents.ts4 script. Did you see those? Delete. Delete! <laughs> um, if you have not heard of this, you're probably not downloading these mods anyway. Like, I don't want you guys to sit here and think like, oh my god, I'm gonna, my computer's gonna die. Um, this person has some really helpful information about the kind of mods that are affected. Um, so you can see specifically if you have any of these, but you've downloaded these in the last like couple of days. Um, that's what you have to worry about. Or oops, are those specific ones. Um, the cult mods, social events, unlimited time. Weather and forecast cheat menu, seasons cheats menu, mother load menu, mood cheat menu, and mouth preset. Um, so there's a couple uh, things that you need to worry about, but um, you need to just 
watch out for those things. Um, but there are lots of the people that are more like in the mod scene kind of have your back with this sort of stuff. Twisted Mexi also has, um, they've made like a, let me show you this. Um, they've made a mod called Mod Guard um, to try and help out with this uh, so that you can download this to like give you warnings and stuff. Um, so that's something also to think about. Um, I don't know. I don't want you guys to sit here and panic about this because realistically, like most of you probably are never going to be affected by this, but it's good to be aware just in case. Um, and if you're like concerned about this and you're like super into the mod scene, and you download a lot of mods, you should probably follow creators like Twisted Mexi and stuff just to like be up to date. I don't really download any mods, so I'm like the wrong person to come to for mod news. <laughs> you know, like I'm like so not in the loop with what's going on with mods because I just only have a couple of mods. Um, but, and this is like the past couple days this has been happening. So um, just, you know, keep it in mind, I guess. Um, but yeah, something to consider. <laughs> yeah, being like in their Discord servers for these people that make mods is super helpful because they like ping people when there's news and stuff. And I just am not, um, yeah, like Deaderpool, the person who, um, like the MC Command Center people, that is a good Discord server for mod news too. Um, I literally went to their server to figure out what the heck was going on. Cause I had people being like, Caleb, why haven't you spoken up about this yet? <laughs> and I was like, I don't even know what's happening. I'm not on Twitter anymore. I don't see it. Um, so I was like going into Deaderpool's Discord server trying to figure out what was happening, <laughs> you know? Um, so anyway, <laughs> um, good place to be is like actual dedicated mod spaces and not so much like, you know, I'm not the best person to ask questions about it, but I'm trying to help so nobody gets in trouble or has any problems, you know? Um, but anyway, hopefully that helps you guys, makes you feel a little bit less alarmed. I like this living room vibe. If we could try and like spread that to the rest of the house, that would be fantastic. I'm gonna mess with the bathrooms quickly, I think now. Um, but... Okay, bathrooms for those two spaces. Um, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of people that are like mod people that have a lot of information for you if you're looking for that kind of thing. Um, okay, I think I will do some brick on those exterior walls, and then maybe we could get tile or something. I kind of want to have yellow. <laughs> But I don't know if that's the best idea. Oh my god, I'm kind of tempted to like paint the walls yellow with that like tile at the base. I kind of like it. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool. Okay, let's try that. Um, and we'll give them a shower. Um, it could be a shower like... That one has some interesting gold accents. Don't know if I like it though. Don't need to be using the fitness stuff pack, that's ridiculous. Maybe, oh, you know what could be good? The new shower from the new rent pack. Cause that has that green that C was talking about wanting. It's a little bit fancy. I don't know if that's like too much. <laughs> it is a little on the fancy side for our werewolf house, but um, we're going for like old, <laughs> building and then we got this like really fancy 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 shower but maybe it's cool i don't know shall we try and put in i guess like any sort of curtain trim curtain stuff yeah you're right it's good for a snobby werewolf who this person is snobby but like said with love you know um Okay, what else can we do? I don't really like that toilet, but maybe it's the best one, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna use the bathroom clutter kit for this. Um, so we can get a nice golden toilet paper holder. And then... Do we know when the bug fixers are coming for the rent pack? <laughs> no. Um, we don't know when any update is coming for The Sims 4. <laughs> it would be nice. It would be nice. But unfortunately, uh, there is not news. That would be fun. 
to know the answer to that question, but no. Um, okay, something like that is good for storage, I think. Um, they saved money on the renovation by only doing fancy shower tile. There you go. <laughs> the only thing they chose to update in the bathroom was the the shower tile. That's how they're trying to um, keep the, the budget low. Um, I don't hate that. Just want the holidays bug to be fixed. Yeah, I agree. I'm very, very, very sad about the holidays being so glitchy in this game. It makes it like not fun for me to play. And I'm, I know it sounds quite dramatic to say that, but I mean it, like the holidays are a, a big aspect of my gameplay. So the holidays being bugged is very annoying to me. Um, they'll hopefully fix it soon, but. Right now the build costs 57,000. So we're not too concerned about the budget just yet. Um, and you're not so very safe. Two of your heirs consistently don't get holidays. Right, and that's the thing. That's like the two sims that you care the most about. It's not that I like don't care about the other sims in my household. Like I, I do still care about the non-heirs, but if anybody is gonna not get the holiday, I'd rather it be like the heir's younger sibling than the heir. I want the heir to have the holiday because I want to get the points from it. I want to have like all this stuff. So it's very frustrating <laughs> when they don't work and they only work for like some sims, but you can't determine which sims. And it's like, <sighs> anyway, it's just, it's just frustrating. Okay. Um, do I think with more sim games coming, will it push EA to get better about fixing glitches? I mean, at this point, The Sims 4 is old and all games have bugs. And The Sims 4 just releases new content so much more often than your average game. So there's always a new thing to be bugged because it's new. Um, I don't, truthfully, you guys, I don't think The Sims cares about Paralyze. <laughs> Paralyze being two years out of coming into early access, not even coming out for real. They don't care about that. Like, I'm, I mean it in the nicest way possible. They don't care about that. That's not, they're not like, oh God, we gotta fix the holiday bug because Paralyze is coming out in, uh, checks notes, 2025 and not coming out, but coming out in early access. <laughs> like they're not, I, they're not worried about that. It's just not, you know? Um, it's a long way away that it's, it's still fun to have a game like Paralives, but I don't think that it truly poses the competition to the Sims that people think that it does. And I don't think that it's fair to Paralives to expect it to either. You guys have to understand that EA really cares about the Sims because it makes them a lot of money. And the Sims has this billion dollar company backing it. They have 24 years of history of making life sim games and the experience that comes along with that. Like they just, they, they have such an advantage over this small indie studio with 12 people working on a game um, that it's really important to not put pressure on that to like have them kill the Sims because <laughs> it's not going to, at least not straight away. And it's just not, I don't think that's a smart idea to sit here and like have this bar set so high for this small game. Let's let ourselves like it, but let's not expect it to be like the thing that destroys the Sims. Like it's just not fair to, to it, to have that pressure put on it. You know, um, the people are gonna play both these games and judging off of the gameplay from the trailer a couple days ago, it's not as like free form as The Sims is, at least not yet, because it's still so early. Um, and truthfully, I don't understand how they plan on making money. I, I fear deeply that it's gonna go the route of Dreamlight Valley where it's like, we're never gonna have DLC. Actually, we're gonna have DLC because <laughs> we can't afford to keep developing this game. Um, so I just, um, yeah, I don't know. That's my fear is they're gonna have to like, walk back on that promise. I would hope that they don't, but I've, I'm afraid they're gonna have to. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> um, how does Stardew Valley without paid DLC? Well, Stardew Valley is a very unique special occasion where literally one guy made that game and it became like one of the biggest games ever. And now he's really rich. But that's not like, you know, it's different. <laughs> 
Um, it's just different, um, the whole situation there. So <laughs> Paralyzed is probably going to do well, but it's not going to, I don't think it's going to do Stardew Valley well. That's really rare. That's a very unique situation. Other games don't have that. That's like, you can't really compare stuff to that, you know? Um, the majority of the games uh, don't have that experience. And a lot of games do just find about putting out DLC, but they're, it's just a different sort of model. <laughs> and like these days, a lot of things are trying to have DLC. So um, yeah, and like Stardew Valley is a, uh, it's promising less than like this life sim is. Um, so anyway, it's just different. Um, and I, I, it's making me quite nervous, the amount of pressure that people seem to be, pressure and expectations that people seem to be putting on to this game. Um, Cause it, you know, it's just, again, it's a small team. Not to say it's not gonna be good. I don't want you guys to sit here and like misunderstand my words. People try and say this all the time. Like, oh, what, because it's a small team, it can't be good. No, that's not what I said. But it's, it's not fair to have this bar so high when it is a small team they're, they don't have all this funding. Like they, you know, they're literally funded on Patreon by you. Like it's not, um, it's very different, the situation. So just allow them some grace, you know, give them room to succeed on their own. Um, yeah, I would love to see more life sim games. I've been desperately wanting more life sim games for a long, long, long time, so. Oh, Paralyze is way more intriguing to me than Life by You. I, Life by You, she scares me a little bit. I want to like it. We haven't really seen enough of it. Also, the delays of Life by You, I think it's smart of them to do because it's clearly not, people are like really responding negatively to what they're seeing. Um, so it's good to delay it and like make sure it comes out good in early access because otherwise they're doomed. But like, the fact that it's been delayed twice, <laughs> oh, yikes, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, it's not um, all that promising. Um, but anyway, I sort of have this outlook on these games that's like, I just want to have more games of this genre. I'm going to have fun playing them. I'm really excited to play them. I'm looking forward to playing them. I'm so curious about them and how they're going to work. Like, as a fan of this, I'm really excited about it. Um, but I'm not out here trying to like compare them to The Sims and expect them to be better than it or whatever. Um, so that's kind of my, my feelings. Um, we'll let ourselves have fun. And that's all that matters. More life sims, please, truly, yeah. Um, so. Yeah, Christine, Inzoi scares me a lot with that one. It does not seem very diverse, and that's kind of giving me the ick about it. It's still early on, so and they might, you know, add to it before it comes out. Um, so it's hard to, like, make final calls about that, but... Yeah, I'm not really feeling super pumped about Inzoi either. Um, and I still think Life by You is ugly. I, I think that one of the problems I have, this isn't just with these two games, but, like, Generally speaking, with a lot of games that are coming out new recently, it's like they all look the same with this like ultra realistic, these ultra realistic graphics because they're all made on the same engines and stuff. And I don't like them. Like that, the Life by You to me, first of all, looks like The Sims 3. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was trying to explain this to Dan. I was like, it looks like The Sims 3. The graphics look like The Sims 3. The Sims look like The Sims 3. Um, and I just feel like ultra realism in these games is a bad idea because you look back on it and it ages so poorly. One of the, the greatest things about The Sims 4 is its art style is so special and so timeless. Like, it's this very cool, sort of realistic, but kind of cartoony, it just, it really is going to age so much better because what's realistic today in five years is not because it's going to get better and better. And it's just like, this doesn't go out of style in the same way. This is so, so well done to me. It's like so timeless and good. Um, I think this is great. And they like, this is what I hope for something similar with like The Sims 5, Project Renee, whatever it's going to be. Um, I don't love the like super realistic stuff. Plus it kind of gives like uncanny valley. When you look at the characters too close and they look like a person, it like... I don't know. I don't need it to be like an exact recreation of real life. I just want to play my little games. <laughs> a lot of people prefer more realistic stuff. It's just not my vibe. Um, I really don't like that. So, 
Um, oh my goodness, Kirby! <laughs> Congratulations on the cloud roll! Oh, that is very exciting. I am very, 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 very happy for you. That's so cool. Um, that is so, so, so cool. Oh, I don't like that one. Maybe I'll use the one from the bathroom kit. We don't have a ton of, the clown roll is a very exclusive 1 million point roll um, that not a lot of people have. <laughs> it's a very small group. Um, there's like 10 of us that have this role in the Discord server. And I'm not kidding when I say that. So that's very cool um, that you have the clown role now. Kirby, congratulations. One of us, one of us. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna try and make this bathroom a little bit cooler looking. Your lifetime goal is to have the clown roll. I respect that. That's fun. Um, yeah, I like Paralyze better than Life by You. We'll see how Life by You turns out. I like Paralyze better than it right now. And not that it's like a, an either or. They're both different types of life sims. Um, I think that I've tried explaining this to people before on stream, and I'm not sure if my like, I'm not sure if what I'm trying to say really comes across correctly. But to me, Life by You seems like, uh, and please don't misunderstand my words, right? Because obviously everyone plays The Sims. But to me, Life by You is like a boy life sim. Like the target audience of Life by You, I don't think computes with the target Sims player base. Um, it, it's kind of similar to like City Skylines in that way. Like City Skylines is very much a simulator of city building. It doesn't have like as many, at least in the base game, creative tools that a lot of people like me might prefer. Um, and that's not to say that like only boys want to play these games. Obviously that's silly, but like generally speaking, the wider audience of it, I think that Life by You is appealing to a different type of life sim person. Kind of like um, we were describing it as maybe appealing to like the GTA roleplay crowd, um, which obviously like a lot of people play GTA roleplay and stuff, but it's just like a little bit different than us. <laughs> like the majority demographic of here doesn't, you know? Um, but anyway, it's just a little bit different. So, and again, everybody can play any game. We all know that clearly, but um, <laughs> it's just a different target demographic, so, um, why does that actually make sense? Yeah, I mean, I think that, I don't know if that's what they're trying to do, but I think that's, like, the people who are making it, at least, so, we'll see. But everybody's got different preferences for games and stuff, um, that's kind of how it reads to me, at least. I don't think that it has the kind of stuff that I'm looking for in it. I was trying to explain this to Dan also, because I was I was talking to him about this. I always talk to Dan about all my games. Um, and I was talking about like part of the problem with City Skylines and why I don't know if it appeals as broadly to a lot of people like us. I love City Skylines, but some of the issues that I have with it, a lot get solved by mods. But like, for example, in City Skylines, I watch these like YouTubers and they're trying to build like a rest stop off the highway and they sit there for ages zoning, deleting, zoning, deleting, trying to get a gas station to spawn. You can't like force a gas station to spawn. Maybe they want to have a gas station and a fast food place. And it's like, you're trying to encourage the game by like lowering taxes, trying to get a gas station to spawn here. And you can't like control that level of the, the design and the detail. It's more like automated widespread. And that's good for a lot of people, but for me, I want to like down to the road, say there's a grocery store here and there's a gas station here on the corner. And like, obviously mods fix that and City Skylines 2 is new, but I wish that like you could do that just in the game. I don't think you should have to have mods to have that kind of customization. I wish that you could like force zone a certain type of residential or a certain type of like community lot or whatever. Um, commercial is what they call it in City Skylines. We call it community lots in The Sims 4. Um, but I wish you had like a little bit more direct control. I want to like plop a couple things. I don't want to plop everything, but I want to plop a couple things, you know? You need both. I need that kind of customization. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, especially cause like, it's so weird how you're trying to force it to have, the, the fact that you can't like tell it to place a gas station is so annoying. And sometimes it'll place like four of them next to each other. So you can't get one where you want it to be, but then it puts four over there. Why? Why? Anyway. <laughs> That's my thoughts about City Skylines. 
And I love city skylines, but I just desire a little bit more of that kind of customization control. So, um, I don't really care so much about the simulator of it all. I care about the builder of it. But I do like simulator part two. It's just balance. <laughs> Balance. I like, that's why I think I like to watch other people play City Skylines more than I like to play City Skylines myself. Um, I think that's why, like, the, I get more enjoyment out of seeing other people do it. Because they often have all those mods that I don't have. <laughs> so, did I play SimCity? Um, I got given SimCity for Christmas on my Wii one year. And you guys, I was like eight years old. I could not figure that out. I hadn't a clue what I was doing. It was never going right. And I, I like was really bad at it. So I didn't play it a ton. Um, but I did have SimCity on my Wii for a bit. But that's my main experience with SimCity. But it's like that game, these city builders aren't really designed for um, eight year olds, you know? <laughs> I wasn't really uh, the target audience there. I don't know about this bathroom. I'm trying, I don't think it's very good. You're terrible at city builders. I just think they're so fun. I love the idea of city builders. It just stems back to my like childhood where I would try to envision all these like storylines of real cities and stuff. When I was a kid, I wanted to be an author so bad. So I was like, I would like try and make up stories about worlds that I was building in my head and all this stuff. And um, so city builders kind of like, they, draw upon that a little bit, but they're more like simulator, like traffic problem fixing. And I don't care about that. I want the traffic to just work. I want to like design the world for like fun story vibes, not so much for like, am I producing enough of like this natural resource? <laughs> like, I don't really care about that, you know? Um, that part doesn't really interest me in the slightest. Um, like trying to like manage the economy, that's boring. No. <laughs> I don't need to worry if we're like producing enough coal or some, I just don't care <laughs> about that. Um, okay, I think maybe we get a towel of some sort over here. I believe so. Um, yeah, like industries DLC for City Skylines 1, boring. But the park DLC, fantastic. Exactly, you get it. Just turn on infinite money? Yeah, I know. Um, I'm just, you know, disgusting. I don't hate City Skylines. <laughs> I actually really like City Skylines. <laughs> I'm talking a lot about all these problems, but I like it a lot. Um, it's one of my favorite games. I guess that's why I'm discussing it so much, you know? Okay. Um... You love building custom industries as long as unlock all is on. Yeah, I can see that. I like to, the other problem I have with City Skylines is I basically want to use it as like a public transit simulator. <laughs> like I, you guys, I have a bit of a fascination with trains and I always have, and I kind of just want to like open up City Skylines and like build out train lines. And I don't want to, um, like I don't want to have to pay for it. So I could like play on pause in an unlimited money save with unlock all on and just build a train line <laughs> and then be like, okay, I'm bored. Let's make a new one. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just fun. Um, I should play cities in motion. Oh, maybe I should try that Christine. Cause I actually probably would like that. Maybe you're onto something with that one. Um, so Okay, maybe we get like, oh, I don't know. It's literally a public transit sim. Oh my God. I've never heard of it before. I'm kind of out of the loop. You might've just changed my life, Christine. I'm being so serious right now. Okay. Put that right there. Well, that seems nice to me. Train games, train games, <laughs> exactly. Okay, maybe I'll give them each their own bathrobe. And I'll make one kind of green. Okay, the colors in here are a little bit wacky. I don't know. 
I don't know about this. Um, are there any games you play yourself that you don't play on stream? Yeah, City Skylines. <laughs> I've played it on stream a little bit, um, but City Skylines is kind of the big one. Um, recently, I haven't been playing a lot of games. Like, honestly, this year, like in the new year, I have not been playing a lot of games. I've been reading a lot. I've read like 12 books this year and not really um, played any games. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm always kind of in a reading era, but I've been in more of a reading era than normal recently. So um, I've not been playing anything. <laughs> so, um, okay, I think... Oh, you know what we could try? Maybe I'll get a shelf instead. You've read 17 so far this year. I'm glad you're having fun with it. I'm glad you have time for that too. That's really good. Um, okay, I think, put that there. Raise it up just a bit. And I'll do some custom placement of clutter for us. I don't know. Are there werewolves, werewolves and sims? Yeah, there's a werewolf pack in the sims. It's not a dumb question, don't worry. Um, there is a whole werewolf pack. You gotta pay 20 extra dollars though, if you want to have werewolves. <laughs> I wish I was making that up. I'm unfortunately not. Um, it's, it's more money, it's like an added DLC, but. That's good though, Meg. Listen, a lot of people don't read books at all. So you reading one book, that's a lot of books. Um, in the grand scheme of things. Not everybody likes to read books, so there's no problem with not reading books. Just, you know, you know what your hobby is. A lot of people read as a hobby, and maybe you don't really like reading as a hobby, and that's fine. You don't need to worry about other people. There's no need to compare yourself to other people. Plus, a lot of people that say like, oh, I read 30 books in January. A lot of those were like short books. Maybe you read two long books, you know? Like it's, the book count thing doesn't really mean anything. And you know, everybody's on a different pace with everything, so. Don't worry about what other people are doing, you know? Um, I think... Well, this has a little bit of the green that we want. Okay. Do a lot of rereading every year? That's fun, yeah. See, a lot of people like to do stuff like that. Everybody's got different preferences. Um, Okay, I think that maybe like this, something kind of simple and nice, clutter-wise. Okay, I think so, that's good. Oh, audiobooks absolutely count as reading. I've been getting so annoyed, you guys. When I see people on TikTok, it was more so in the, like at the end of the year, when people were talking about their like, reading wrap-ups and like, oh, I read this many books last year. Like people were trying to argue, people that don't read were like, there's no way you read 150 books last year. Me, 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 just random people. What makes you think that? Why? <laughs> they don't watch TV, they read books. Think about how many hours you spent watching TV last year. It's not, it's not unreasonable. <laughs> A lot of people are able to do that, like. <laughs> I was getting so annoyed at these people because I kept seeing videos on like people, it was mostly people stitching people like that. It wasn't like, I wasn't getting those people on my For You page, but I was getting so annoyed at them for saying all those things. And then like the argument about do audio books count? Why wouldn't it count? That makes no sense to me. Why wouldn't it count? Of course it counts. Like, oh, you think about how many people don't have the ability to like sit down and like bury their nose in a book for ages. They've got kids, they've got commutes, they've got all this stuff. Why wouldn't an audiobook count? And why do you care what somebody else does? I saw a whole thing, this person on her Goodreads, she had been marking all of the books that she read by herself, but also the ones that she read with her son. And she just, she posted it like, and it said like, oh, I read 300 books this year. And then people were yelling at her like, oh, you're a liar, you're inflating the count. They're all kids books. It's not a contest. She's just marking the books she read with her kid. Why does that matter? Why do you care what she did? What does it like, it's not like she's trying to like one up anybody. She just was like keeping a, a track of what she wrote with her son. Like, what's the problem? Like, it doesn't matter to me. Why do, why do you care so much about somebody else's? Anyway, <laughs> I was getting so mad. Sorry, I'm ranting. I just like, I was really frustrated at, at the internet in this time because of all these things I kept seeing. <laughs> They're making me so angry. 
And there's still books. Like it doesn't, anyway, sorry. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> um, bathroom clutter kit. <laughs> All of this could be summed up by why do you care so much what somebody else is doing? <laughs> does it really matter? No. No, it does not. Um, okay. I like that. I think that's good. Well, let's just leave it. Um, okay. Let's, I don't know about the yellow. I'm just gonna leave it though for now. Cause I'm not really feeling too excited about that. Okay. Um, you love my rants. Thank you. That's very nice of you to say. <laughs> I didn't mean to rant. It just sort of happened. Sorry, everybody. Um, yeah, I agree that fanfic counts too. I don't really see the problem. If you're reading, I don't like, what's the, why do people care about everybody else's business? It doesn't matter. Worry about yourself. <laughs> um, Switch the green of the tile. I, I'm not gonna worry about the bathroom too much right now. I might come back to it. For now, I'm gonna think about stuff downstairs and then maybe revisit the bathroom afterward, I think. Okay, I don't like that anymore. I'm gonna get artwork. I'm worried about um, the spacing. So I don't wanna put too much over there because then they can't walk all the way around the table. Some sort of pretty piece of art might be good. One of them is a bookworm. So it might be kind of cool to have like, I don't know, book quotes, book cover, something like that, maybe. Um, Radical and Hunter and Coco and Mads and Cassidy, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, I don't know how I feel about that, generally speaking, but we'll see. We shall see. Should I try this? That's a lot of plant. Maybe it's okay though. And then we can try and get some cute stuff. Like, oh, I don't know. Um, a bunny, cause they're a wolf. Is that scary? How about like a little set of owls? That seems less chaotic <laughs> than putting in a bunny. Maybe I could put a dog as well. Or two dogs. Those also seem good. Okay. If I got credit for the fan fiction I read, I would have had the most AR points in middle school. <laughs> Oh, I used to read so much fan fiction when I was younger. I don't really read fan, fact, fan fiction anymore, but I used to, when I was in like middle and high school, you guys have no idea. I read so much fan fiction back then. So much fan fiction back then. The good old days. Um, I think we all are on the same page. Of what? Um, various books, a lot of like uh, One Direction, like alternate universe type of stuff where it's like, Harry Styles, but he's not Harry Styles. <laughs> Listen, we've all been there. <laughs> we've all been there, okay? <laughs> you get it. At least some of you get it. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> You're making me feel embarrassed because some people are acting like it's not normal. It was, okay? No, I would have been um, so embarrassed to like talk about the fan fiction I was reading with people in real life back then, but. Okay. I think, what about this wall? We wanna get something like, oh, hi dad. Maybe I could do these on this wall instead and I'll put like a mirror or something on the other wall. Okay. Art. I don't know. 
Um, oh, I should decorate the kitchen too. I don't know what to put on this wall either. I guess we could try and use the green again. I'm really wishing right now that I had like um, another window or like something of that sort. You had a Harry Styles cardboard cutout. Okay, I have a Rick Astley cardboard cutout right now. That's still in my kitchen as we speak at this current moment. There is a Rick Astley cardboard cutout in my kitchen, so absolutely no room to judge around here. No room to judge. Okay, I think I want to put, I've decided I want to wrap this around a little bit more. I think that would be good. Because then I can get some more cabinetry and I think that would help too. Just something else, you know? I guess you could scoot that on top of just that part. Oh, I feel like that helps. You had to explain the Rick thing to Cherry Tomato. That's so funny. What What were her thoughts about the Rick Ashley cardboard cutout? Did she have opinions about it, Christine, or what? Important stuff. You must know. Okay. Yeah, these base game cabinets, they, they used to be really bad before they had the swatch update and now they're like kind of iconic. Um, it's in your kitchen? Yeah, he, he keeps freaking me out at nighttime, um, but I haven't brought it upstairs yet, which maybe is not smart of me, but yes, my Rick Ashley cardboard cutout is in fact in the kitchen still. We did like a, um, we did a baking stream on Tuesday. I can't remember all of a sudden. We did a baking stream on Tuesday um, and we it was for Rick Astley's birthday, so. Okay. Um, she got embarrassed when you showed her the Never Gonna Give You Up video. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my God. Should I give C's Sims a frog? I might. I think they want that. Okay. Um, maybe we get some more like, hmm. Oh, maybe like a, we could get a couple more appliances, like a kettle or something. Never seen me live? Oh, well, hey, I'm glad you can make it to the stream today. How about a mounted salmon? Oh, maybe that could go on the wall. There you go, see, fish. <laughs> um, that helps, right? Do you think the wolves are gonna want like, I don't know. Meat or something? I can't really be sure. These little mugs are always cute too, but why is the frog in the kitchen? Uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a signature. I just like it. I always put my frogs in the kitchen. <laughs> saying it out loud, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> what I'm saying is quite strange, but <laughs> I don't know. That's just what I do, I guess. I might get this instant pot thing. I've decided I want to have that instead of coffee, but they can have some tea there. I don't know. Okay. That seems good. Let's get some more plants. Frogs feel more bathroom to you personally. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that, Christine. Yeah, you guys remember that scenario where we had to do all that frog stuff? They haven't had like a, a limited time scenario in a while, have they? There was like a whole frog thing that they did that one time a while back. That was kind of fun. I kind of liked it. Um, 
Oh, this will be really cute. Put that like there. I guess you could probably move there. We don't really need to have that over there anymore now that I have cute pots on that wall. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of when the Sims team does limited time anything. For me, I kind of would prefer for everything to be permanent. I'm with you, Christine, on that. Um, that's, I mean, that's half the reason that I don't really appreciate when they do, oh my god, I hate them for that. The swatches being different is so agitating. Um, that's part of the reason why I really dislike the early purchase content for packs. One, I think it's very annoying to try and, like, get people's money that way. Um, I get it, but I'm annoyed by it. And the other thing is that I just hate, I hate that it, like, leaves people out, essentially. Because if you can't buy the pack straight away, maybe you haven't gotten paid yet. Maybe you just, you know, you can't afford it straight away. Well, too bad. <laughs> because the limited pack, the limited time content is just gone. Like, you, it's too late. You missed it. And I don't think that's fair at all. Like, I know that they're trying to incentivize you to buy at full price. I understand that, like, as a business, they want you to buy at full price. But I, I just really, really don't like that. And I wish that they didn't do that to people. Um, I wish there was no sort of pre-order content. I, I, it makes me feel bad. Because I, I just know, like, um, obviously nowadays, like, I could buy them. I get the packs. I review the packs. But when I was younger, absolutely no shot would I have had any of that early purchase content. Like, I would have, I, I didn't get, most of the Sims 3 packs, I didn't get them until after The Sims 4 had been out for years. Like, I, I just would have missed out on that. Um, and that makes me feel sad that people have to miss out on it. Like, I just don't like that, that they do that. Um, there's no way to go back and get it. Like, you just, you miss out. Um, and that's sad. So, I wish they, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah, at least it's not exclusively pre-order content, because the, the argument of, like, they're trying to trick people into buying the packs before the reviews are out, I can see that. But it, again, at least it's not, like, exclusively pre-order. You can buy the pack for, like, a month after it's out and still get the early purchase content. They call it, like, early content and not um, pre-order content. So I, I do appreciate that about it, too. Um, you don't have to buy it straight away in order to get it, but... Um, yeah, it just stinks. I wish they didn't do that. Yeah, and it's marked really weirdly in the catalog, too. I just, yeah, I'm not a fan of that system. I wish they would stop doing it. Um. Um, okay. So, I guess I'm doing brick, like, everywhere in this kitchen. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, there are people that make, like, conversions of it for CC and stuff, but again, not everybody can get that, you know, not everybody plays on a computer, um, so even that is, like, not that, uh, helpful for most people, because, um, you know, maybe they're playing on console, they can't get CC, maybe they don't know how to get CC, you know, they're, you have to bear in mind that, like, a, we here, a lot of us know how to get CC, because we play The Sims all the time, we watch all the Sims content, but, a lot of Sims players have no idea about mods even existing. Um, and they wouldn't know that that's a thing that you can try and find, you know? Like, uh, it just, it does kind of leave them out a bit, so. Um, okay, save the game. I hate that though, Tony. The CD keys selling the early bonus content for like $3 each, that makes me so mad. <laughs> I really, 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 really wish that they would not do that. I'm very frustrated by them selling it separately like that. Um, so I wish they didn't do that. Um, you're a console girly? Yeah, a lot of people are. A lot of people are. A lot of people don't have access to a computer, you know? Um, so. Okay. I don't know if I like that there, but it's a good start, I guess. Let me give them like an entryway table of some sort. You were so confused with mods and CC for months when you got back into The Sims. Yeah, I mean, even I'm kind of out of the loop with mods and CC. I, I know a lot of CC creators. I follow a lot of CC creators and stuff online, but I don't really download a lot of mods and CC. So I would say that I'm kind of like not fully in the loop when it comes to what's going on with mods and stuff right now. Um, 
I'm not completely out of the loop, but you know, I'm not like an expert these days because <laughs> I don't really use it anymore. So um, it's easy for people to not, to not know. I like that. That actually matches, I think. Um, you had the early purchase content for high schoolers, but when you switched from Origin to the EA app, you no longer have the items. What? That seems like a very strange, uh, you should contact EA support and like really try to escalate that. Cause that seems like it's a glitch. Um, why well, it is a glitch that shouldn't be happening and you should get your content back. You should try and be like, look, I bought it at the right time. I want you to re-enable it. I know that's when you have to like fight for it, but I think that you should try to contact the EA support. I don't know how they are about getting you access to old early purchase content. Like if it's been out for a while, I don't know if they're gonna be nice to you about it, but it's worth trying, I would say. Um, the EA support is wild though, you guys back. So with the early access for, for rent, um, they had us <laughs> listen to this. They, they're supposed to, cause we had like the special early access where they give like a second version of the Sims in your library that has like the updated base game and just the pack. And it was like limited time. You have it for like six days or whatever. Well, they were supposed to give it to us and they were saying, okay, you have it now. And we were all like, no, we don't. And then they were like, oh, contact EA support. They'll try and fix it. And we were like, it's not gonna work. <laughs> so then these creators would try and contact EA support and they were like, you can't have a pack early. The pack's not out. And then they'd be like, no, I have early access. And then they'd be like, too bad, the pack's not out. <laughs> it's like there was not communication. So I just, I have a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth about the EA support right now because of that situation. <laughs> I mean, you understand why they're saying that. They're gonna be like, no, you can't have it. it comes out two weeks from now. But it's like, the, whoever was running it didn't know why no one had access. And it was just, it was a mess this time around. The past couple releases have been like, the behind the scenes have been, we got it like three days late. And I'm not trying to complain about me personally, but like, a lot of people in the creator network, there's like hundreds and hundreds of creators in the creator network. And they're not all like big creators that do it for a living like I do. Like I'm very lucky in that sense. A lot of them are just average people that have a job and do it as a hobby. And they like take off work the day that early access is supposed to come because they're thinking like, oh, I'm gonna play the pack and try and you know film with it that day. Um, and then there was no early access <laughs> for like days afterward with no warning of when it was going to come. And that happened like multiple times. And that's just kind of sad and not so good to be told like, oh, it's gonna come on this day. And then they take off work or whatever. And then it doesn't happen. I would be so devastated if that happened, you know? And I'm lucky that like, it isn't, I mean, in the grand scheme of things that big of a deal for me, but for them, like that's a huge deal, you know? Or maybe they're traveling, they only have these couple days to record and then they're gonna, you know? just stinks, but hopefully they get it figured out again. They're kind of in like a transitional period with like all these changes to the creator network. So, um, <laughs> it's funny how, cause I've been in the program for like before it was a program, you know? So like seeing how it's been different over the years is very fascinating. <laughs> um, but anyway, okay. I saved the game now and then we should probably try and figure out some sort of entryway table stuff. Do you think werewolves need umbrellas? <laughs> Bookworm, Abby, thank you for the subs. Maybe, I don't know, probably. Umbrella. And then, okay, that's good. See whose house this is going to be for, says maybe. Werewolves maybe need umbrellas, apparently. That has that like sort of yellow and green vibe, I guess. <laughs> so that could work. Um, wet dog fur smells gross. Oh my God, you're right. Ooh, okay, of course they need umbrellas. Otherwise, disgusting. You're so, you're so right about that. Um, go, go, Crispy, thank you for the sub gift. I appreciate that. The bookshelves are from the werewolves pack. We got them from this pack, believe it or not. Um, they work out quite well for this, I would say. So that's kind of fun. 
For who are we building? For for one of my mods, C, in chat. They have a couple werewolves that they're playing with right now, um, and we're building a house for their werewolves. <laughs> uh, one of them is like a bookworm. One of them is like gym fan. They're like in the two separate um, packs or whatever. Um, and so we're, we're building them a house at the moment. Hi, Hope, how are you? I hope you are doing well. Okay, oh, maybe we should put like a cute little paw out there. You guys, I'm not doing very good with this build. I'm taking way too long to build this. Did I ever get to use a Logitech steering wheel? Yeah, I've used it before. I, um, I keep trying to set it up again for stream right before I go live at like 9 p.m. And then it like is difficult for me to make her work on stream. So I haven't used it for one of our streams yet, but I do have a wheel Logitech sent me. Logitech has been very nice to me. Um, they have like magic listening powers or something um, because I, someone basically a while back, I was doing a couple, um, uh, what's it called? Truck sim streams with my friend, Steve. Uh, and then some people in my chat were like, oh, you're gonna play truck sim, do you have a wheel? And I was like, of course I don't have a wheel. Why would I have a wheel? I play Sims. And then, a few days later, a wheel shows up from Logitech. And they say, heard you didn't have a wheel. If you don't want this, your dad can have it. And I said, huh? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> but what actually is happening is like, some of the people who work there watch the stream sometimes. Um, but like, what's a wheel? No, like literally a, a wheel that you hook up to your PC, like a controller. It's a controller, but it's a wheel. So you can use it for racing games and stuff. Um, so it's like literally a wheel, <laughs> um, a steering wheel. But they uh, heard me say that and sent me one, which was pretty nice of them. They did not have to do that. I am a big fan of Logitech. They are very cool, in my humble opinion. Um, Okay, how about a car? Honestly, kind of love that though. It's kind of cute. Oh, we need a thermostat for our little, uh... Sims the After Dark again win. I don't know if I can stream late right now. Um, we'll have to see, not this week. I got too much going on. Um, but maybe at some point soonish. Kayla say you don't have a car and maybe Logitech will send you a car. We were joking about that. Um, like when it was happening, we were like, you know what would be so cool? Like tickets to such and such concert. <laughs> you know, it's like, hey Lo Logitech, are you listening? Are you like a fairy godparent? Um, I have a... <laughs> wow, it'd be so cool if I got a new car. <laughs> anyway, I'll be live for the Taylor Swift album. Um, that's true. We'll be live counting down until it drops at midnight like the past few we have done. Um, so we will do that too. Who am I rooting for this season of Drag Race? Oh, Plasma. Plasma, uh, in my opinion, is a star and I want her to win, so. <laughs> okay, what to put on this wall? Maybe the green again? I don't know. And I'm not just saying that because someone in chat knows Plasma in real life. I like actually mean that wholeheartedly at this point. Um, I'm kind of obsessed. So, did I watch Trixie stream? No, I wanted to. Trixie streamed The Sims 4 last night. Um, I, I saw that she was going to do it, um, but I didn't get a chance to watch. Trixie is actually a big fan of The Sims. They've sponsored her a few times to do Sims content on Twitch and like she did a YouTube video this time around, which is kind of exciting, one of us. But Trixie's like actually a big Sims fan. She follows me on Twitter. I'm being dead serious. Trixie Mattel, yeah. She's like a, a huge fan of The Sims though. One of us. You'd be surprised, the, you guys, the crossover between drag queens and simmers, it's big. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't be surprised. If anybody's gonna play Sims, let's be honest. Um, but <laughs> there's a there's quite a big a crossover between a lot of the people like on Drag Race and um, no, it's not surprising at all. But anyway, <laughs> playing Sims, like, come on. 
Um, that's kind of exciting. Yeah, Tracy likes Dead by Daylight too, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, she knows a lot about The Sims. She actually plays The Sims. Like, for real plays The Sims. Yeah. Um, sometimes, you know, like, The Sims will sponsor a celebrity to play Sims, and they don't actually play The Sims or know anything. But Trixie actually knows because she actually plays The Sims. So, that's, like, in my opinion, I think Trixie Mattel is one of the most perfect people outside of The Sims community to sponsor to play Sims. Like, that, that is a genius person to be sponsoring because they're trying to do it to like reach a non-sims audience you know and that is like the exact right kind of audience of people who want to play the sims like fans of of drag fans of the sims you know look at us <laughs> we are the crossover but <laughs> uh, i think that's really cool that they have paid her a few times for sim stuff it's been like over the past like multiple years they've done that it's not just recently but um we're talking about a person called Trixie Mattel. She is a uh, drag queen, drag race winner, uh, YouTuber, Twitch streamer extraordinaire. <laughs> so, um, okay, I'm trying to find a thing to put on the wall over here, but I don't really know what. Maybe tomorrow when we play again, I'll have more of a vision, you know? Maybe a poster of some sort could be good. No, I didn't stream yesterday. I was uh, extremely weak yesterday. I was dealing with a lot of um, anxiety yesterday, so I ended up not streaming. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I have failed everyone, but I was, yeah, I wasn't really thriving yesterday, unfortunately. Um, okay. I think that I want to get... Maybe this could be good on this wall. Start there. Um, I just wasn't uh, the on cameraness of it all was not the vibes. And then I forced Dan to cancel stream with me. <laughs> um, so <laughs> it was like a whole thing, but I'm fine. Don't worry, it happens. Um, Okay, I think, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going for with this. I've tried, like, there's, like, a, a very ver large variety of different vibes in this house, and none of it is really working for me, so, I don't know. Do you think I could give them a game table in the middle of this room? Is that, like, so weird? I don't know. We did have some nice quality time together. I actually have a funny story. I'm not, this is not meant as as uh, an insult to this person, but I have a very funny story of a person who recognized me yesterday. <laughs> this girl, she, I was walking and she stops me. She says, hey, are you a famous TikToker? And I said, no. <laughs> no, she said, are you famous on TikTok? Sorry. And then I said, not on TikTok. And then she said, well, what are you famous on then? And then I said, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> and then she went, oh, I'm getting a photo. <laughs> and then handed her phone to her friend and then asked me for a picture. And then as she was walking away, she goes, what do you do? Like, what videos do you make? And then I said, I play Sims. And then she went, oh, and then left. <laughs> I've never had an experience like that. It was very different than normal. It's like, you could have asked my name or something if you didn't know. It reminded me of VidCon, like at, at conventions that happens a lot because people like see you being stopped and then be like, oh, I'll get a picture too. But it was like in public. I don't know. It was so weird. <laughs> it made me laugh though. It was kind of chaotic in a fun way. Um, but if you're watching this, hey, <laughs> that was a very memorable experience for me. <laughs> but I wonder if, I mean, it's possible that she just like seen my my like face recommended to her on YouTube or something and she was like trying to place it, but I don't know. This one time I got recognized at the Apple store. This was like years ago. Um, I got recognized at the Apple store <laughs> and the guy said, I've seen your face on those thumbnails, which implies he's never watched my videos, but he's seen them recommended to him and he does not click. <laughs> Which is so funny. <laughs> I don't mind. It's fine. But like, the, the way he like worded it is just so funny. <laughs> he, 
was like, hey, are you are you a YouTuber? And I was like, yeah. And then he's like, I've seen your face on there. <laughs> anyway, very, very amusing. Um, it's funny what people say. I get it though. It's kind of nerve wracking when you like encounter a, a person online and like, you know, you're just curious. So yeah, maybe she seen me from like Shella's Among Us TikToks, who knows? Um, and she might have seen me on TikTok. That's very possible. But I wouldn't like say I'm a TikToker, you know? I haven't posted on TikTok in ages. So I wouldn't go around being like, yeah, I'm a TikToker. <laughs> I, I think that would be a lie if I tried to say I was a TikToker. Oh my God, maybe it was my TikTok ad. <gasps> maybe she, <laughs> maybe she's seen that ad, the Travel Town one that's going around. And that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I did a um a YouTube integration for a game called Travel Town. Um, oh, that kind of works. Uh, just a, like couple like a month ago, and I gave them usage rights, which means they're able to like make an ad out of it. And they they have an ad running on TikTok right now of my face talking about Travel Town. I didn't know they were gonna do that, so that was kind of interesting to see. Um, they're allowed to. I gave them permission. They paid me for it, but I didn't know they were gonna do it. Anyway, maybe she's seen that. <laughs> and that's why she thought I was on TikTok. That makes sense. I forgot about that. I haven't seen that ad yet, and I hope I don't ever see it. That's gonna be, if I ever see my own face in a TikTok ad, you guys, that's gonna be the biggest jump scare. I don't need to see that. I do not need to see that. I hope I never do. Please no. Please, please, please no. Should I do that? You and Kylie Jenner are the same spawn. Did Kylie Jenner do a Travel Town ad? Oh my god, they have budget. Imagine how much money it would cost to pay one of the Jenners to do an ad. No, I didn't know she did that. Wow. They really have budget for that game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know me, Kylie Jenner. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you saying you should have asked for more? No, no, I think they paid me a very, uh, very decent amount. Um, but that's uh, very impressive that they paid Kylie Jenner because I think that whatever they paid her must have been like, I mean, like paying for a Sims YouTuber and paying for a Kardashian are two different things. Did she get paid more than you? <laughs> um, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna assume yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm gonna go with, mm-hmm, definitely not. Maybe a bit more. <laughs> nice, Valencia Diamond, thank you for the subs. What's a Travel Town? Oh, it's like a mobile game. Um, it's a little app. It's one of those, um, it's kind of like Candy Crush energy, but it's just you pair two things together. It's fun. It's a mobile game though. Um, it's one of those merge games. It's not really like Candy Crush. That's ma that's like match three. This one's a merge game, but. Um, who says you didn't get paid more than her? Okay, there's no way to know for sure. You're right. However, <laughs> I don't think that Kylie Jenner would do a sponsorship for my rates. <laughs> I don't think so. My favorite mobile game? Oh, um, Heyday. I'm actually being dead serious, you guys. I love Heyday. Heyday and Candy Crush are my two favorite mobile games. Um, but I also like like word type games, various things like that, you know? Um, Heyday is like a little farm game. Heyday did sponsor me once, but that was a long time ago. Uh, Candy Crush did never, never did sponsor me. Although I would take Candy Crush's money in a heartbeat if they wanted to sponsor me. I would sit here, I'd talk all day about Candy Crush. They don't need to advertise like that with me though, I don't think. <laughs> but I would take their money. I so would. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know what to do with this. I'm kind of, I feel like I've hit a wall. It might be best if we come back to this with fresh eyes tomorrow. Um and finish it tomorrow. I was gonna play baby challenge tomorrow, but we'll probably finish this and then play baby baby challenge. Um, you know, I think that's the plan 
for this. Um, this isn't going that well. I'm trying my best, but here's the build so far. The outside needs a lot of work. The inside needs a lot of work. It's not really my vibes, but I'm trying. <laughs> and we're doing what we can. I think the living room is cool. So once we get this vibe applied elsewhere, we'll be golden. But I probably should go because it is drag race night and I have to finish um, cooking dinner before drag race starts, as we know. Did I ever play Best Fiends? No, I didn't play Best Fiends. When they were, also when they were out sponsoring people, this was like, you guys, 2016 or something. Okay, my channel was a lot smaller. They offered me $30 to do a dedicated YouTube video. That's not like an integration. That's like a, you post a video playing just that. Like the whole video is just that game. Um, <laughs> as if I'm gonna play Best Fiends for, <laughs> anyway. Um, my channel is very small, but I remember the time being like, you're kidding, right? Like, <laughs> really? <laughs> Come on, no one even wants to watch that. Like not a single person would click on that. There's no interest in that. Like, anyway, I didn't do it. Um, there's a lot of, people get a lot of like, I would say it's like basically a fake offer from like so many companies that just like spam email everybody. It's like, I'll give you 20 bucks <laughs> if you do this. And it's like, I'm not gonna make the amount of time to make that video, plus like the, it's just like, I have to post a Best Fiends video on my YouTube channel? Like, are you kidding? It's one thing to have an integration and just be like part of the video or whatever. But anyway, <laughs> very funny. Um, but yeah, that was a long time ago, so I don't hold a grudge. It's just funny. <laughs> Your birthday's on Sunday? Oh, exciting, that's fun. Um, that was very, very fun. Happy almost birthday. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago, but that was back when like everybody was getting sponsored by Best Fiends. Everybody was being sponsored by Best Fiends. It was like all over the place. I seemed like the whole of YouTube was doing it. This, this happens a lot where there'll be like a wave of like all of a sudden there's a million NordVPN ads. <laughs> and just a, a bit ago, there was a million BetterHelp ads. I don't know if they're still, I don't think they're going as much anymore, but like two months ago, Better help was everywhere again. How are they still around? After the controversy around better help, how are they still around? And how are everybody still taking those ad offers? Like what? Anyway, um, after all of that, I don't get it, but they're still, they're still kicking. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. That's one of those like immediate skip ad, skip ad. <laughs> so, um, contracts most likely. No, these are, it's a new wave. No, the, the stuff, the drama and like the, not drama, but like the controversy came out like a couple years ago. And these are ads that are happening like two months ago. Um, speaking from my experience, I've signed year long contracts for sponsorships before, but it's only ever a year long. And it might be like post four videos over the next 12 months or you know, whatever it is. Um, it's been over a year since that came out. So these are like new deals. Um, so anyway, and I find it hard to believe they didn't like know and they didn't like look it up, but I guess it happens, but I don't know. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's go find someone to raid. Um, Rubino, thank you for the 44 month resub, by the way. I really appreciate that. Um, it was your first time here, May. Thanks for coming again. I really appreciate you being here today. Um, and everybody, thanks for coming. We have a lot of fun, I think. Um, hanging out together on these days. Um, I think it would be fun if we went over uh, and maybe raided a friend. Oh, speaking of the 100 baby challenge that I am probably only gonna do like half a stream up tomorrow, I'm gonna finish this build still. My friend Spring Sims is doing the 100 baby challenge and he's had 70 babies. He's getting there. <laughs> Let's go over and raid my friend Spring Sims. A lot of you probably know Steven. Um, he is one of my dearest, closest friends. He was like my first ever Sims friend that I met on online. Um, so uh, he's very special to me <laughs> and you should go follow him if you don't already. Uh, but he plays a lot of Sims like we do. So if you like stuff here, you'll probably like his stuff too. Um, and you probably know him also because we play Among Us together. So you might recognize him from that too. Um, but everyone go and say hi. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your evening. Happy Friday. And I will see you all tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Ooh.
Oops, where's the button? There we go. 